and here we are. I think. I think. Oh, Monty wants. Okay, you can go, Monty. There you go. All right, hold on just a second. All right, that looks like that's working. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any um, sound effects to help me with this. Uh, okay, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up, up, down, Ow. up, down, down, up, down. In. Up, up, down, Ow. up, down, down, up, down. In. Ow. Okay, I think the sound is working. Sound is going to be a very big aspect of this game, so... my goal form. Alright. Alright, so with that Wild card, it's been a little bit. How's it going, man? Oops, uh was totally not watching this guy. Nope, not at all. But with this I I'm doing good. Today's my off day at work, so I've just been chilling and playing uh they are billions. And, um, I learned, I learned I could do a thing. Also, is it just, okay, how's the volume? Because this is loud. This feels loud. I hesitate, though, on lowering the volume. Because I know sound is going to be very important to our survival. Let's start, let's start with that. Make me a little better. You tell me if the volume's, like, bad later on or anything like that. But, um... Let's begin, shall we? Hello everyone, my name is Max, also known as Lord Extra, known as Lord Extra. Welcome back. Well, to the Halloween special. I was gonna dress up, just gonna be completely honest, I was gonna dress up, but the outfit I had was literally too small. I shouldn't use the word literally there, it's, that word's overused. It was too small. And I know it's like, oh, it's cause you're fat. No, I couldn't get over my shoulders. And I was like, put on the pants and it like, it couldn't get around my thigh. And I was just like, um, I wore this in the military once. The military was three years ago. How, like, it's like I've literally gotten bigger. So unfortunately I couldn't dress up, none of my outfits fit, but that's fine. Uh, this, this is our Halloween special. Today we're gonna be playing Amnesia, The Dark Descent, also known as the game that gave Markiplier his rise to glory. I don't know if that's entirely true, but I'd say it's partially true. Um, this game came out originally in 2010. It is an old ass game, but it is known as, pff, how do I even put this? Um, how do you even put this? This game is, is, this game is a hallmark of horror. So many different things can be inspired by or traced back to here. Back to Amnesia. Not to mention that um, there's custom stories that you can download. That are basically like the way the game was designed was you could use you could like um, use like a builder to like make whatever story and stuff like that. This game is very moddable, very customizable. But I've never actually sat down and played it. Now Steam told me I played this for 2.9 hours. I don't remember, so I'm not gonna say it counts. But yes, our goal today is to see if we could beat Amnesia: The Dark Descent in one go and I think it'll be a good time so let us begin all right hold on, let me fiddle something real quick here we go and uh the way it was designed to be played versus enemies will spy more easily tinder boxes all the harder to come by auto save is disabled and save your game costs tinder boxes losing your sanity will kill you oh let's just do normal because apparently this game is very difficult as well 
but no, I'm I'm pretty excited. I was like debating between like Outlast and Dead Space, and it's just like, well, I don't, we don't want to start a new series, but there's some of those games I want don't to be series. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is. I am Daniel. Already the way the camera creaks and the sound. It's very good. Is that blood? It almost felt like petals. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh. Uh, J for access, press M. Make sure to check these whenever you're stuck. Uh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, it's like I'm waking up. Uh, huh. Nope. Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh. Hold down R and move it to rotate it. Ooh. 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 Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, rotate it. Ro Alright, okay. Dope, dope. Okay. Okay, sprint. Okay, I can just... Uh... Wait, hold on. Hold down left mouse to move the mouse over to press right mouse to throw the door open or shut, depending on the direction you face. I have to actually, I have to like click and then move my, m oh, that's unsettling. Oh, that's immediately unsettling. The current number two is showing the inventory. Why is my brain in my inventory? Why is my brain in my inventory? Can I pick this up? Uh, I'm gonna take that as a no. Okay. I don't wanna like that. I I I mean I can see. I can see pretty well right now. Thank goodness that object was glowing blue, though, like. Oh. 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 This floor is made of floor. Okay. You got a weapon? Oh, shit. Sorry about that. Got a weapon? Okay. Sorry about that. That's going to come into play later. Weapon? Shit. Max, why is your first focus on a weapon? Simple, I don't know where I am. I'm uh... Redress, it's so good to see you. Good game choice. About to take a snooze one to say hey, hope you don't show yourself. Appreciate it. Yeah, today's is gonna. Today's a little bit of a Halloween special. We're gonna see if we can beat uh, Amnesia in one day. Or, sorry, in one stream. I think it's gonna be a good time. I'm pretty excited. I haven't played this game before. Or if I have, I don't remember it. But already, I am un. The way the camera is warbling 
it just keeps warbling. Why is it warbling? Whose idea was it that it should warble? Why can't I have a torch? I'll have a drink though. Glug, glug, glug. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh, I should not be trusted with power. Can I smash? Wait, 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 wait. Because of a certain segment, but I'm sure you'll be fine. What do you mean by a certain segment? What do you mean by a certain segment? What is that supposed to mean? Wow! I'm brilliant. Oh, come on, I can't read it. Uh, was that a, was that a lean? I can lean. Oh, God, if I had Megan play this, she would get motion sick so fast. The world is tilting on its own. I'm not touching anything. Oh, God. Just kind of hoping I can read that. Are just as if not more relevant to your survival, like Silent Hill. Can't even pick it up. I'm a good survivalist. So don't bring too much attention to yourself. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm an expert. At, I'm an expert at survival horror. I'll have you know. Holy shit. I love this. I absolutely adore this. The way the camera is moving, the creaking. We're in a stone structure and yet everything's shaking. It feels like it's like. Okay, if I had to, if I had to guess how they did this, in Blender, um, you can adjust any object. Uh, you can take any object, um, hold on, this knife, right? And you can go along any axis and, like, choose this as, like, the origin and stretch it in this way, stretch it, in, you know, like, this way, or stretch it in the other way. I imagine what they're doing is they're taking the camera object and doing that. Just slightly, just slightly tilting, just, oh, that is unsettling. That is immediately unsettling. Oh, I hate this. I love this. I actually really love this already. Oh my goodness. I, I, oh, 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 this is nice. This floor is made of floor. Uh, uh what the fuck was that? I feel like I missed something important. I feel like I was supposed to see something and I wasn't able to see it. Don't get used to me doing that for everything. Okay. Is that my breathing? A slight headache? What? I went into a dark closet. I, I went into a dark closet. Fire cleanses. It fixes the world. It saves us from our sin. I was hoping that would work. All right. Uh, <laughs> what in the world? The fact that they're making me. The fact that 
fact that they're making me open and close everything. It's just like um. I bet this. I bet this might have been inspiration for down. Uh. Four. Search for this. Turn on lights in the environment using jitterboxes. Search for other sources of light. Like Jesus. All right. Um. Huh. Appreciate, man. I want you to know that. I should recognize this painting. I'm sure I do. I just can't think of it. Oh god, the way vi the environment warbled. I'm gonna hate this. I'm gonna hate that, like, standing in the dark by itself fucks you up. You know what I mean? Like, not even do anything, just standing in the dark fucks you up. The door slammed shut behind him, and you knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. The text goes up. How can the wind be coming from a wall? Book. 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 This book will protect me. The... Plansenreich. It can be increased by complete puzzles and making progress. The plans in the Reich will protect me. Ah! Heart is pounding and hands are shaking. Mom's hands weak. Mom's spaghetti box throwing every bit. Eh. I'm just standing here throwing shit. I don't know how how well, how well can you guys see this? Do I need to turn up the gamma? Can I use you as an excuse to turn up the gamma? Ah. I'm not seeing nothing. I'd like to point out. I looked away. And the camera was like, nah, bitch, you're going to want to see this. And I'm like, mm. You know, the moral of the story for most, uh, for most book eldom, who should we call it, that I read, most love crafty in books, was just, you're better off not knowing. The picture when filled with oil could be pressed by F by selecting with the time. Oh, nice. Uh. Huh. I just turn on off. I don't know how much fuel it has. Begun, Satan! Alright, there we go. That worked. I can't tell. Oh, oh, I can tell. Uh, huh. Fairly dark on all for me, even with max brightness. Uh, let's, let's up the, let's up it a little bit then. Uh, gamma. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, so if we're at 1, that's at 2. Let's turn it to 1.25. How about that? There we go, right? A little better? A little happier? This book will protect me. But if I'm never going to be here again, is there really a point... See, if we're... Open. 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 
open. Shit. Everything's well lit enough. Do I even really... Oh, I saw something. Yeah, it's a dark, but now it looks playable. Okay, cool. I, I could turn up more if need be, but... That's all good. Appreciate it, man. Embrace the fire. The fire cleanses the mind and purifies the body. Embrace the... Okay, enough of that. Do I actually feel better now? I don't think I do. I don't think I do feel better. No, uh, I'm... The game's like, look at this shit. Look at this hot, sexy action. Okay, so... Yeah, I said note to self, huh? This. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. I myself. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. Who the fuck is if Alexander not, of Brandenburg? This will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young. And strong he will be no match for you one last thing a shadow is following you okay it's a living nightmare breaking down reality I have tried everything and there is no way to fight back you need to escape it as long as you can redeem us both Daniel descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him why don't we just leave your former like, self, what happens if we just leave? Daniel. What happens if I just go the fuck home? Can I drink any of these? Can I break any of these? Can I use any of this? Come on. Whoa. Ah, so I have to make progress. I just have to. I just have to make progress. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes. He received the first kick in his stomach. Hassel remained hidden in fear. She too would be fine. Ah, great. Good. Get! Alright. To run? Hold. Dripple, dripple. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Ooh. Hmm. I'm guessing I'll need to go to each area soon enough. I just figured I'd look around. See if I can fi immediately find anything interesting. You know what I mean? So these are real bugs. Be gone! Alright, um. Look, if they want me to get in the habit of just throwing shit, I will get in the habit. I'll, I'll start. Blah! Good throw. I meant to put it there. Better. This box is coming with me. <laughs> One way or another, we will get through this. Mr. Bird. Can I actually carry this through? Let's find out. This box is with me, right? Nope. Nope. Have at she! Ha! Well, it's worth a shot. Just, uh... hmm. 
Oh, there's a shot. All right, let's go explore. Well, that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Like, I... No! Well then. Huh. Laboratory. Maybe we'll find some. The other children cheered him on. His name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim. There's so many factors I don't know about. I'm not sure of a good place to test them. The first being... Okay, so if I light a torch, is it lit permanently? Back! Satan! Fucking right. That, that'll be me as an exorcist. I'll just, like, I'll just run up to things and... Shine a flashlight. It'll be just like that by daylight. I'll shine a flashlight and inside it'd be like you You ain't shit demon But God Christ says you a bitch Through his power like through God's power. You're a bitch. You can't do shit Like getting texted by Oh, hold on. Am I getting an important text? That's important Hold on So every now and then my parents text me things and all I see is like one word for Nope, never mind, we're good. Okay. So it's just like the look of like and is something bad? Am my, my family in trouble? That's just unsettling I'm gonna start throwing shit everywhere. I hope everyone's okay with that. Why in the why is everything the lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experience has taken its toll on my many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes so it will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Now. Dope. Hello! Okay. Have this box. Ah, there should be more Cooperite. Cooperite isn't a real word. Let me see. Let me see. And one part for folks. That's not a real word either. All right, Cooperite and Apperfort. The four. Uh. Calamine and Orpiment are given in the Cooper Pines and Well. This time I'll attempt Aqua Regis instead of Aqua Fortis in hopes it will produce a more even solution. Yeah, but what does this make? Their experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly sick and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissues react especially violent to the solution should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Wait, no, I actually wanted to read that. Uh. Chemical will have moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Shit. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Ooh. 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 Dolls to donuts, 90% of these are gonna be. One day I'll return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself done doing terrible things, I take comfort in. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without saying where I only crave fair joy and a safe return. Dope. Dope. I can just sit here and keep hitting it. Alright. <laughs> they want this book. Got this sick book. I gotta feed it to the crocodile. There you go, Mr. Crocodile. Just for you. 
All right. <laughs> what? It's fine. It's fine. How's my sanity? It's fine. Boom. Look at that. Boom. We're golden. <laughs> That's what this whole game is gonna be. It's gonna be like all this scary shit's happening. I'm just gonna be like, it's fine. Anyways, we gotta go to the wine cellar. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. You sold your siblings to the Ice Queen for some feckin' Turkish delights. You piece of shit. L oh, I can't land. Oh, shit. Um, hmm. Find the key for the wine cellar. Well, I thought you said we're gonna look for it. Hmm. I didn't see a key either. Uh, let's check over there. Let's check that way. Maybe we'll find something. You know, there's a pretty clear progression. Like, find a key, you know, find a thing, go to the wine cellar, collect the chemicals, call it a day, kiss your wife. And, um, to about archives. Let's give it a try. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. To avoid the sense of guilt? That's a good sign. No one talks in Latin. I'm gonna pick up the actual book. Uh, All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's gonna become a trend, isn't it? 16th of May, oh. 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that oh. evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, mm. I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Fuck yeah. Gotta keep all those bureaucrats willing to throw infinite money at us happy. That being said, I know people will like endlessly shit on Britain for like, you just stole everyone's shit and brought it back to Britain. Well, no, other countries were doing it. And also, it was good fun and you learned a lot and we collected knowledge from, or not we, they collected knowledge from civilizations that weren't recording shit or collecting knowledge, so. And you're bought for my full attention services. <sighs> Kind of weird that you say like my freedom is gone. Like I get it, but a little scary turn of phrase you got going there. Dope. Oh, that shit. Should I be using those? I feel like I should be using those more. Maybe I should be a tad more. Maybe I should be a tad more uh, uh liberal. Maybe I should start Satan. No. All right, so may maybe I need to start being a bit more like believing in the Great Reset, and that's cool that the government owns everything you have, and yeah, you know, maybe maybe I don't know. Maybe I should start thinking Biden's in his right state of mind. Maybe, maybe, maybe that helped my sanity right now. Seventeenth oh. of May, 
1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burnt. I know I can read fast there, but I think it's better to take the time to enjoy this. Ground. This will also gives us time the to men breathe. Were superstitious. So and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. That was struck me the as a strange were lined word, with but, yeah. statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Okay. Alright, now let's go talk to Satan. Now let's go talk to Satan. That was on accident. And that's my sanity to leave my body right now. As we speak. There it goes. There it goes. What the best part about this is nothing has physically come to kill me I'm willing to bet for the first chapter of 12 you're never in actual danger but it feels like I am it feels like I'm in a You know what I mean? Like, I can't tell if I'm in danger or not. I can't tell what's going on. There, there. Well, I still can't move much, but just that dreamlike quality that everything's just shaking and moving. Oh, God. Got this rock. Or I think that's moldy bread. Uh, uh, oh wait, those that that's a skull face. That's also a skull face. That kind of looks like a normal face, but it could be a skull. Oh. How's my sanity? Oh, good. I can't tell if my Sandy is in a good place or not. You know what I mean? 
There's a whole lot of that. I can't tell. Let's hope it would unfurl and I can read it. Um... Dying? Am I dying? 17th of May. You're gonna take a little nap nap. Okay. <sighs> After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry. Right, let's I go. To push myself toward the enchanting light. I can't. I can't look away. Okay. It was waiting for me, enclosed in dark nothingness. I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Do you touch all? Out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Oh, this is Lovecraftian as fuck, I and I love it. Is the grating sound oh. of stone being lifted? The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Like, hey man, why'd you smash it? I can't do it. I can't do a very Arabian accent because it's not standing Indian. And I'm probably insulting people. So let's just pretend I was saying for a second. Hey man, why'd you break that? That could have been worth a lot of money. Oh shit. Huh. Well, now it. Uh. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. Here's a gun. Anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Well, the only way to... Yeah. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Uh, another regional with the house in deep. See, they're better voice actors than I am. Another region rich with lore is Alstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For have I heard that? For centuries, there have been stories starting with Hamlet, his neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest climb mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as it could be. Oh, right there, it's haunted by the dark! Asking a look at you, you hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, as it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them must have their own twists in the tales, but there are some motives that keep reappearing. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods were forever damned from from the grounds. Their bodies rot by the tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years, described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shine away from any beholder. They are called gatherers and seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp, burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Uh... 
Because all the city resided for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of King Joseph. During say all the prominent members of the society paid notes, and he has mentioned many records at the time. One day he went to investigate a burial in the North Pacific Gates. Always did never see again. <laughs> Who's this who visits sleep time? Um. Uh, through Florida, I mean, Papa Pius pursued the game. So. Yeah. Wait, what? And I'm guessing the trick here. Second. There. Don't try to use up all my oil. Okay, so there's one. Right, there's one. I love this artwork. It's so good. Uh, this is the same as before, but it's not skulls. Probably because I'm much less... Hell, does my torch, does my torch, or my, yeah, does that actually help my sanity? skills again so I'm guessing depending on my sanity the artwork changes which I'm all for okay. it's the dude it's the dude with the ripped open lip Slowly, because my sanity is going out the window. As you can see, my sanity ain't doing so hot. I can't. What? 
What what hit me? What hit me? What? The fat the Hey dope. Hey dope, thanks. The fuck! Is this some endless contextual thing that keeps coming and slapping me, or is there a logic to this? If I do this, am I fucking myself over? I'm so used to relying on the dark as a friend. Where did the siren go? Who cares? He left us in a blind the last of a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. To hide, I need to stay in darkness. Can't close the door by itself. Now, okay, here's the question. See, now. Unfortunately, Malibium isn't what we needed. God, I wish I could like just hold a brick in my inventory. This is such a weird dilemma. This is such a weird and difficult dilemma. Oh, I passed something. So I do have to sit there and hold it. Okay. On one side, on one side, On one side, I need to... Put that so that I can interact with for a second. On one side, I need to stay in the dark and hide. On the other side, if I stay in the dark for too long...
thing is good. Fuck you. following me is likely in Well, oh, it's fine. Cutscene. It's kind of my mind goes. It's like, ah, there I go. Whatever. Hmm. I don't think I can reasonably move that. Uh, there you go. Push it out the way. Manhandle this shit. Manhandle it. Manhandle it. Manhandle it. Calamine Orpiment. That's all I need, right? Uh, wasn't it? That's all I needed. Yeah, I really wish I could have a few bottles in my inventory. That was the other door I needed to get into. Or a door. Like, I go to the creepy room. Fucking, this reality warping bullshit. Be lying if I said it wasn't effective. But I'm starting one. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with everyone. There's been a few times in my life where I've actually had. What's happening? Oh, feel you. My, my chest is going to burst. Oh. And then his chest bursts. My God, Wilhelm, do something! I said that as a joke. Except we're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> oh, God. No, there's been a few times in my life where, um... 
My vision actually looked and felt like this. And like the stretching and the movement of it, I it's kind of it's kind of fucking with me in a major capacity right now. I'm not gonna lie. All right, my name is Wilhelm House of Garage. These are my final words. My confession tells me two years ago, I summoned to the Castle Bradbury as most of the aristocracy. I was curious about what happened. About this not, suppose neither the order could want for me and accept the invitation. The bear was friendly, offered me a proposition. Not me that the nature of the contact was sorted, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past, not enough to honor in war with during my time as soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon its slice women to do so to ask questions. Returning would test my character at the Royal Court, advance my position with noble society. I like claiming that I struggled with my decision, but I came swiftly I accepted wholeheartedly. Uh huh. Uh so the Baron was locked us up and returned upstairs for what I've done, I was weak and felt it was died by her. The skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood's begun to pull from my eyes like no longer. That's a good sign. Tough. I wish I knew. I wish I knew how many stages of sanity there were. Like... After during three years in Al or three days in Algiers, civil was finally arranged to take across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibra Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of resuming a cabin and SS Hortensia headed for London. Oh, it's like my brain hurts. What the fuck? The fuck was that? Am I hurt? Crystal clear. I did get hurt. What? This place is gonna become more and more corrupted every time we go through it. I can feel it. Ah, oh, I just. Okay, hold on. Oh, so I probably have to just go back to the, um, I probably need to go back to the, who do call it, don't I? The fucking, no, there you go, but, um, no, this is scary with me. Like, I've felt like this before a few times. That's why I was just like, ah. Oh, good. But it's so interesting that, like, if we we're going to talk sheer mechanics, right? Just mechanics. Shark, care to explain what that was? I don't know how much I need, though. Did I 
Did I do it right? idea if I'm doing this correctly. Why is my sanity going away when I'm doing the thing they told me to do? Oh. That shit broke. What? Hey, Joe. It's good to see you, man. I impale myself. I thought I could... Hold on. Hold on. Hey, yeah, there you go. You knew what I was going for. Nah, I'm good. But, um... I'm just having a real hard time telling, like, what's real, what isn't, what's a danger, what isn't. What am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to interact with? What isn't? It's really throwing me off. And, like, the constant moving of the camera, it hurts. Like, I'm wondering if, like, I wonder how many people had, like, severe motion sickness from playing this game, because, God. Okay, once again, so I keep bleeding, and every time I bleed, flesh goes everywhere, like we're in Doom, and the game's like, you've made progress, bitch. Okay, now go to the fucking... Give me a shit. Okay. There it is. Bibbidi-boppidi. Or, uh... Kaduka is with this you will now fizz. And just ran out of it, so that's my that was my one that I that was my one that I got. What the fuck? Why is this happening? Why he sat down by the cast but the cast before I sweat poured from his horn. Anyway, so I uh oh. Noise being the good old support. Proud of ya. Oh, oh. It sure is dark in here. Let's yes, that. and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason for the darkness? That is cheaper. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Okay. What? What? I can't even look at him. What the fuck? So I have to stay in the dark to stay hidden, and I can't even look at them. That was all, but it aim shot me. Does that mean I'm seen? Does that mean something's in the water? Why did I say that? Something, some, actually, no, there's something in the water? I don't know what these signals mean. Louder than I wanted it to be. 
What did I just say? It's crazy how it do be like that. <laughs> what the? I'm going nuts. 22nd of June. I'm going nuts. I'm like, trying to do it again. It's been more than a month. Uh, I, I feel like my eyes are going nuts. Yeah. Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? No, I'm good. I'm good. Hell let loose. Hell let loose. Well. Ah, oh, God. It's been a very clean light when you walk around all these things. Well, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that we going towards the screaming. Um, those weren't there earlier. And I can't tell where I am. My basic ass map skills are failing me because I'm closing doors behind me. Which means I don't have a good way of telling where I have or have not been. That's going to be important. Okay, is this the... <laughs> I don't like when it goes to dot, dot, dot. Look, fire, fire, feel better, fire. Uh, guess. Okay, okay, hold on. So that's about how full it is. Wow, it really, it really does not fill it much. Fire, fire, feel better, fire. The fuck is that? Oh, where? Oh, I see. Hang on. Come on. Come. Now let's look around, now that I can actually properly think. Oh god, yeah, I'm feeling myself get a headache. We're gonna try to persevere though. If the headache gets too bad though, I, I reserve right to claim that. Uh, the room that was not there before. Hang on, so I take this and I go. That's it. Oh, hippity hop, down we go. I can't tell where the threat's coming from, so.
fuck was that? He crashed through the surface, the dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. I just... <laughs> But there's shit in there that I want. That's about fits, yeah. There's shit in there that I want. shit in there that I want. Okay, so it knows where I am. It knows where I am. This is a matter of like, don't step in the water. No, it knows where I am. It just takes a bit to get started. Fuck you. All right, fuck this. There, how's that? That's on time limit, isn't it? On time limit. Oh, God. Why doesn't this game have the ability? I just want the ability to like hold rocks in my bag. Just so I could be like flip and then run. But no, I can't. So I'm going to wait for this thing to stop. Yeah, I'm going to wait for this thing to stop. Grab a book, grab a, uh, grab a book. Grab a book, get to that other checkpoint, just run, and then whenever I think it's too close, I'll grab a book and throw it. Wait a few seconds. I wish I knew where it was right now. Start saying, yo, good job, me. You, you did a pretty good job evading that bitch. It's right there. Can't reach it. There. Is this a? Yes, it is. Okay, come on. Box. I see. This is good. Do we have to establish?
We have to establish where it is we're trying to go. Yep, that's what I figured. Bullshit. Shoot. Oh. That's bullshit, and that's cheating. I'm being clever. Fuck off. That's cheating. That's cheating. That's cheating, you piece of shit. That's cheating. He just he just pushed my box. Pushed my box. I was off doing what you're supposed to and being clever. And he pushed my He pushed my box from under me. Like an asshole. Okay, fine, 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 fine. You want to fight him? You want it? You want it? You want it? Go get it. Now take the time to eat it as well. Nope, nope. There you go. There you go. Bye, bitch. Oh, it's a pole. Mm. I was about to die because I couldn't tell the difference between a pull and a push. I can't get over him pushing the boxes that I'm like I'm on top of the box and he's just like get that shit out of here. Ah. Oh. That looks important. Why would I need a hollow needle? Yep. Some something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried as the ocean swallowed him again. <sighs> that was stressful. That was stressful. Evaluate. I don't think anything's chasing me. Back! Back, you fiend! Either they stop playing those animations or I'm safe.
Okay, go, 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 go. I don't know! felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean, the lacquered hull of SS Hortensia glittered in the soothing warm yellow sun of a setting, uh, slight light of sunset. He turned his head to the calm ocean towards the portal tide. Is this another dream? I... Right? Like, where was it? Maybe it... Maybe I was never in danger. Maybe I was completely safe the whole time, but fuck! Oh... Oh, fuck. <sighs> this ain't disturbing. How do I splash in the water? That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm splashing the water of this. Yeah, I just need a minute. I just need a minute. That was a fun segment, and I really appreciate that there's a clear, like... I'm really getting the impression in this game that, um... Interesting. So on my screen, I can see it's, like, glitching because of the frame rate, but I look on the... You guys' monitor, and it looks completely clean. Interesting. But I'm getting the slight impression with this game that I'm actually in a lot less danger than I think I am. I'm getting that impression. That being said, it feels like I am in danger at all times. And yeah, I think it, I think that's like a testament to the sound design. I think that's a testament to... This game's very clever. This game's brilliant in that way. <laughs> like, hey man, you need this. <sighs> I hope I don't have to go back through it. I really hope I don't have to start backtracking. Because if I have to backtrack and deal with shit like that, um gonna have some problems. Yeah, this is clearly a safe room. I mean, it's got the Resident Evil theme. Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock had been broken by thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left, considering all the hands that had passed. I don't know why I'm going here. Well. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would be when an apple and pondered on the strange happenings. Yeah, before I start, like, randomly going into shit, we need to figure out... Huh. Yeah, first we have to figure out where we want to go, and why the heck he had to go through the... Well, I guess because places were collapsing. Uh... Oh. Wait, hold on. Where did we just... We, we just came from... Okay, so... We have storage, the guest room. Yeah, I'm guessing this is like each hub is like a chapter, if you will. So I think we just beat chapter one. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Nope. Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Down. Well, it's got three games in the series. They are horror-themed game series. From what I read, I got them in a bundle. If it was not for taxes, buying them separately would have been cheaper. Ugh. Machine room. Huh? Vertical part of the journey, eh? Well, time to go to the machine room. <laughs> What's the name of the game series? Nope. Okay. Yeah, these seem to be pretty simplistic in that regards. You know, like, alright, there's the door, get through it. Can't get through the door, you need to get to the machine room. Right? Can't get to the machine room, you need a key. Right? You're just kind of like down the line, like, okay, okay, uh huh. Got a 
Oblivion, what do you got to show me? Darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. Hmm. It's like the game's trying to tell me to know for real. Stay in the light. I think that's. Oh shit! Yeah, that's a uh, that's the game made by the people who made uh, Until Dawn and shit, right? Yeah, I heard really good things about that game series. Definitely, always it struck me as a game that really should be played with friends. Kind of. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I have to stay in the dark so I can't see it. I have to stay in the dark so he can't see me. But because it's not lit, I can't see him. Well, Max, if you start putting light, if you start lighting torches, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, um, when, uh, when I played, uh, when I played Until Dawn with, uh, with my girlfriend Megan, that's exactly how we did. Well, okay, that's not true. I handed her the controller because I knew how the game went and said have fun. But if I was going to play a game of that that I haven't played before, it, it would be like that. Yeah, where it's like you pick a character and that's the character you play as or you just pass. <sighs> Here's my brilliant strategy. If I light up entryways. Damn, I'm just gonna have to light everything. I'm just gonna have to light everything. Damn it, I hate it. My oil's running out. Why do I have a hand drill? Did you pick any? Did you get any of the killer packs yet, or you just stay with the basic game? It's so flipping dark, I can't see it. Furthermore, furthermore, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I think I just need to start walking around with a tad more confidence. You know what I mean? Um. Oh. Yeah, I think I need to walk around with some more confidence because. I'm getting the impression I'm not actually in as much danger as I think I am. Like I said, this game's doing a phenomenal job of making me think I'm in danger. But I'm really getting the impression I'm not. Yeah, this is a weird, this is a weird set of logic I need to adapt. I need the middle areas of each area to be well lit. So if a threat comes in, I can see it. So if a threat comes in, I can see it and do something and like know where it's going. But, but I need the corners of the room to stay hidden so that way I can still hide in it also why can't I pick up a hammer okay so let's say okay hold on so Let's see. Uh, I will if they somehow go on sale. Oh, are they not? I mean, I saw that the game was on sale, but you know, it was like one of those, I already bought it, so I don't care. Um, I 
Why do I want this? Why do I want this? What is this? What is this? Rig. Can't rig. Can't regret doing that now. But um. Hope I didn't just sequence. Hope I didn't just sequence break too hard. I think I just sequence broke. Picked up explosive. I'm about to throw it at. The no, make a bomb, throw it at the creature. It's like honestly, not a bad idea. I don't know how that made it explosive. But it did. And frankly, I ain't gonna say no. Uh, oh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, cool. I'm getting so many tinder boxes. I need to be more liberal with it. But this place they said has an unnatural darkness to it. So I'm loath to start wandering around. the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh, uh, 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 oh, hey. That's how I was supposed to learn to do it. a question where am I supposed to go where am I supposed to go to that's how we got in are you explored there because that's where we first saw the creature and I started yelling I'm guessing this is it, huh? Well, had a had a had a ho. Okay, now we just see if it blows up on its own or not. Genius. So fucking smart. Good job, Rock, that didn't move. Alright, so there's, this, there's a girl being tortured, which is awful. But hear me out. I think that's a lure. I don't think she's alive. I think... Does a creature fear dislike light? I don't know! I don't actually know. Like, I feel like the light is for, like, my benefit more than anything else, you know what I mean? Like, uh, shit, every time. Why are you doing this? Get away from me. Oh, Res food storage. To, to fix your sanity, eat a damn chocolate bar. And I'm like, thank you, don't mind if I do. Yeah, the light is, I think the light is mostly for me, honestly. Because, like... I'm 
so used to stealth games giving you a way to like see in the dark so you can hide in the dark. This on the other hand is just like, nope, figure it out. I handled myself pretty well there. <laughs> Just kind of like, hated that. <laughs> Let's move on. In all fairness, in all fairness, Joe would. That's what the game told me to do. Explicitly, that is what the game told me to do. To be honest, okay. Like, no, no, more went on. Okay, I, I opened, I was like, what is this bitch? Shit, I slammed the door, run, like, I slammed the door, ran, got to the next door, closed the door as quietly as possible, and then hit in a corner. It's a multiple step process. <laughs> it wasn't just like, I, well, I, I didn't just go to like, like I, didn't, I didn't just go here and be like, hey, I did it. I'm safe. Moving on. Max, I don't think it works that way. <laughs> I feel I feel good. She did. So she did. What make me crying sounds. But, but light and fire is my friend. If light and fire is making me go insane. Ow. And kind of wonder if I could pick it up, but I guess it just hurts me. The fire is only my friend. I don't know what either of those for. It's cheating. Uh, I thought I could pick up the thing! There's a full set of three rods available. There's one rod in the inner studies room, which might work in case the elevator breaks down. Unless it's absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods to start before using an amended one. Thank you, I will. Oh yeah, this is perfect. You know that bitch is like right over there. You know that bitch. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Come on. He's here. He's like right out there. He's right out there. I know for a fact he is. Come on. You want to talk about running into the corner like a child? Come on, where are the sirens? Where is the scraping of metal?
I'm just repeatedly getting this impression. Okay, same plan as before. I should turn south. Okay. Should turn south. Yeah, so doors don't matter. Good. <gasps> Shit. I don't know how far back I need to go, though, is the problem. I'm in the fire. Shut up. Fair warning, I just realized. I don't know how far in the game we are. We've been going for two hours. We might not be able to beat this game in one sitting. So, we'll take a vote if we... Yeah, I think, th I think the light is more for my benefit than anything else. I am really getting the impression I don't think this bitch fears light at all. I don't think... No, no, no. It, it said it won't budge before there was a box. So I think we're... Scrum diddly screwed in that regard. Also, there's a screaming girl in there. Do we really want to go in there? Okay, we should go back this way. I have to try to remember where to go. Because I think we got what we needed. <sighs> yeah, we might not be able to beat this all in one stream, so we'll take a vote if um, we want to do another stream if we're just going to call it. But yeah, how much in danger was I? Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Yeah, take a moment to play with the baby fountain. That shit wasn't there previously. Yeah, just gonna, just gonna play in the water a little bit. Just gonna. Yeah, that shit won't. That shit wasn't there previously. <laughs> okay. Um. Did the memo say? 
Did the thing say that it was in the guest bedroom or did it say it was in the... It said it was in the study or the bedroom? It's at the bedroom. No, maybe it's at the study. The thing cold must brush the mist brushed his face as he stepped outside. Let him whether it could be cruel, but it was the kind of cruelty he could handle. Is that bug coming towards me? What do you want? My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Well, that's awful. That's awful. I hate it. Second of hey, if there's bugs on your face, you're fucked. I received a letter today oh. from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. Departure. <laughs> Abdullah, while traveling with us, used his stand. He was bad. I think it was just Abdullah. As if maimed by a lion. The man. Ramble deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. <laughs> the French quickly dispatched a search. The French quickly the retreated. Expedition. After searching, oh, that's terrible. I should have found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. <sighs> Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs. Ah, oh, my eyes. I don't know what to make of it. I feel like my eyes in real life are going warbly. Get these you get fucking bugs out of here! The fuck is my hair? The one drawer. Oh, no more drawers. Get those bugs fucking out of here. They have the same painting a lot, but I get it. Making paintings is hard. Oh, I would have put, put a tinder box there. Alright, and done. Um, okay. See, because they're already opened. I wonder if there's something miss. Crowbar! Crowbar! Mm -hmm. 3rd of July. Pick mm -hmm. Today I picked up Herbert's <laughs> rooms at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a lot of detail in the I'm being silly. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages. <laughs> well, there was. Damn, bro, this mind. lion keeps coming towards me. <laughs> Shit's weird. I was trapped inside the orb chamber. <laughs> Herbert dryly states, We covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued <laughs> reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort mm. which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness mm. spread through the ranks. He had to give them all booze, and booze is expensive! He finally mm. visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? It's Satan incarnate. No, I'm just kidding, it's Cthulhu incarnate. You think God can save you from the men? <coughs> Apologies. Also, these are some big ass bugs. Also, I should pee. I think I go to the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's what this bitch is for. Yeah. Damn it, I was hoping to keep that. The key. Please let it be here. I agree. <gasps> I can hide in here. Well, I can tell you right now, this shit don't work in Dead by Daylight. Shit ain't gonna work in here either, foop. A spike just like goes through the locker. <laughs> just, like I'm leaning on one side of it, the spike just goes. 
through. I'm like, Let's have a little role play for you. All right. Just. Incredibly contextual of this demon. Fourth of July, 1839. <sighs> it's done. Okay. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Ooh. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. Heck yeah, my tea. Lay my tea. The table as I'd left them. <sighs> Somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered mm. so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. That's the a hatchet. The stone relic now rests on my table. Mm. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Okay, so the game still teach me. The game still teach me some basic mechanics. So. Oh. So what do I got in my inventory now? Uh, nothing. Wait, but wasn't there supposed to be a key? Wasn't there supposed to be a key in there? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna admit something really strange. I'm not, and I'm gonna regret admitting this. Okay, all the all sorts of video games and stuff talk about like madness taking hold and insanity, but the thing is, there's no real way to like feel that without going through it yourself. You know what I mean? So there's a part of me that's like, I wonder how well I could handle it, but then the other, what was that? It was me. I did that. Hey! I was about to go like, hey, a pit! No, no, hold on, I still can't actually. I can't pick it up! It'd be like, hey, yo! yo. A pizza pie, yo! <laughs> uh. Okay, sorry, I thought, I thought you said something else. But, um. Yo, know, there's no. Oh. Sizzle, sizzle up a little, sizzle up a little bacon, you know. Nah. Um. Okay, I'm. Just, I'm suspecting there isn't actually a reason to be in here. If there's no key, I think I was meant to just kind of get that lore bit, and then kind of like tootle off. Yeah, I think I was meant to get that lore bit and then tootle off. So. It's unfortunate. Okay, I never got the key, so we may have to Google. We may have to Google where to get that. But, um. Oh. Uh, oh my gosh, it's the Apple of Eden or whatever bullshit that Assassin's Creed had. I like Assassin's Creed, but I hated that plot element. It was like, every major historical figure, it doesn't matter. It's all actually just, it's all just alien mind control. You know, no one actually, Gandhi wasn't influential in the slightest. I was like, well, that's depressing as shit. Anyways, uh, escape the creature in the water. Ooh. Anyways, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick so I don't accidentally pee myself out of fear. Be right back.
Okay. I feel a bit better now. Took a step. Uh, took a step back. Let's do some more stretches. Yeah, I feel my sanity going down. But <laughs> all right. Let's go to the study. Go. Stay. <sighs> the boss that comes out the corner is just me going. All right. All right. Let's go. This will be fun. <laughs> <sighs> okay. It was weird, like, yeah, I went to the bathroom quick and I could actually feel myself, like, like I had a headache and I didn't realize it. Oh. Power of Christ, about to compel this bitch. <laughs> oh. Well, if there's like a hidden like whatever tech, like whatever code that made it so if you threw that at him, he got like the monster got all pissy. What am I looking at here? I want to look at it. Ooh, that style of sword, the scimitar, an Arabian knight, perhaps a Sikh warrior. I'm gonna throw the shag. Yeah, can we get back to the part of the game where I just like. Oh, that'd be funny if it, that would like raise your sanity. But um, so my first thought was that the monsters only come when the music starts up, but that other one was pretty damn sudden. Just kind of like, bitch, I'm here. And I was like, oh shit, you're here, bitch. And he's like, yeah, I'm here, bitch. As previously established, I'm like, ah, shit, you're right. So, I think I can relax a little bit, but I need to, I still need to stay on my toes, you know what I mean? Nothing outside, impressive. Oh, I thought they were gonna be out loud. To my most trusted student and friend, Johane Weir. Just say YOLO and run through the map. I'm gonna feel like that, yeah. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through Pressure Woods Center. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for the last 20 years. It was just in a tree! <laughs> it's as inexplicable as the Heladriamas described in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as if she was told about an underground Mithraic temple crowned with an unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fit all my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast did not describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstad, investigating one of the antiquated trails, so I finally found the cavern. I went to sign, and suddenly I could verify the truth of these animatic artifacts. They were real. As you guys say, this is the most important discovery in my life, but it's also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these insects to fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as I closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. So I throwed that shit back in his face, and I was like, bitch, you have it! Then I left. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they made as I continued my say when I heard their crying from the foot. Oh. Suddenly a blue shimmery light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings of trees that turned charcoal, black with leaves of cinder. The ground covered in I suck at reading out loud. Because my mouth gets all watery and Anyways. I could hear pleading screams in the distance that I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground grasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carrying miles across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. You know, I don't have a map, so. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry heard in the forest. It has been nearly decades since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident or how to describe this rock. <sighs> That's how you spoke. You told me about your interest. I'll go research to the mythic orbs, and I realized I owe you the truth about my visit to Alstad. Henrik Mishra. Yeah, you do. I think most people suck being out loud. Well, your mouth get you're going. Nom, 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 nom. Before you know, your mouth's all spitty, and you're like, "Oh, I'll drink some water," and then, and now your mouth is still spitty, so you go. Nom, 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 nom. Especially when you're trying to read quickly, because you have a show to get on with. Death trap. That's a well laid trap. Hope everyone liked that ASMR I just did. Yeah. Hey. <gasps> hey. 
goes that shit right back, Missy. Clearly, this rabbit killed this man. Let's see what you have to offer. Sorry, was this guy trying to taxidermy humans? I understand why taxidermy exists, but always struck me as just incredibly gross, gross, uh, who do you call it? Profession. I get why it exists. I understand why it exists. I want that stated for the record. Uh, the guy was taxidermying a dog. The problem was though, <gasps> Pingus. The prob the problem was though, the dog was still alive. That's what happened. Pingus. All right. Oh, I'm about to go insane. Three, two, one. Really? Such a specific painting, and not to go crazy from it. Oh, for the disappointment, the antiquarian's latest findings yield nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life in its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject. I stress you will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. <sighs> the fuck is this? Oh, it's an apple. Really, you're not gonna go all creepy and crazy on me? Okay. None of you guys are gonna start going spooky. That actually got me for a second. Because at first I was like, yeah, whatever. Then it's just like, ow. Hmm. I would say skeletons in your closet, but, um. Yeah, the sound got me 100%. Yeah, I would say skeletons in your closet, but, um. Seems like you ran out of room for your closet. Almost worked. No oh well. It just strikes me as just such a scary, just messed up profession. And I get, like I said, I get why it exists. I understand, but. Maybe. Uh -uh. Uh, after a short study, it's clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an indigenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe the catalyst is produced in the brain. It's difficult to determine exactly where, where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. <coughs> You're torturing things to have it generate a certain chemical? What, are you fi uh, what country is it that's like... Yeah, if you torture the animal before killing it, it tastes better. Because fuck that. Fuck anything to do with that. Okay? Like, uh, Heartless Area, since the creature is bound to die from the exercise, I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experience must be performed. It seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to pre appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. I forget what country it is, but, like, yeah, me tastes better if you... I think we're hearing memories. But, like, I understand why it's a profession. And I get it. And I've seen taxidermy things that look beautiful. But it just strikes me as... Shit. Some Asian country. It's eh, a good way to put it. <clears throat> I know it's a thing. I just don't remember what and where and how, you know what I mean? An important key is hidden. Oh, it is the guest room. If 
find the key then uh okay can we stop going crazy i'm just trying to like look at shit like shit dog i gotta like that ain't it galthroid stuff is entertaining in this game like, if nothing else, that's how I fix my sanity. I'm just like, I just grab this and I'm just, you just grab shit. Just makes me feel better. Hey, you, you go fuck yourself. Alright, I couldn't mess with it. Um, yeah, I legit don't remember what country it is, but I remember when I heard about that, I was like, that's awful. In every way possible, that is awful. I can't imagine that. And just being like, yeah, you just, you know, you just do it. It's like, nah. That was a waste of a new box. Whatever, it's fine. Yeah, I'm. I'm not saying I'm going vegan, but whatever animals there is, or are rather, the goal should be to put them down in the least painful way possible. I would have put a secret in there. That was clever of me. I'm not gonna see another way through. This is a secret lever or something. Someone's coming. Gonna... If I ever went big, I would probably do that to the first kill of that species. I guess. I don't know. It's it's one of those subjects that like, I'm not gonna sit here and join PETA. Okay, PETA does fucked up stuff, and I'm not about that. You know, like, execute the grand majority of the dogs they claim they're trying to save. But um, I'm not saying I'm gonna join PETA. But um, I don't know. It's just it's not. It wouldn't be for me. To put it simply, it wouldn't be for. It's not a profession. It's not a profession that I could ever do. Alright, Mr. Bug. Help me find the key. Sorry about that. It was kind of startling. You gotta find that key, right? Right. Important key is hidden in the guest room, so we gotta, we gotta find that bitch. Gotta look around. Gotta. Gotta. Gotta figure it out. That's not it. Alright. Oh, missed that too. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> uh, to the Cabela's near Ogaden. It's all good, man. But, um, you saying that, I feel like I have. I've been to Cabela's before that have, like, a ton of, um, taxidermy stuff. And it was kind of the same emotion of, like, of like, I can really appreciate this, but that doesn't mean the thought of like actually making it makes me comfortable. You know what I mean? Right, um. Oh, nope. thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Okay. Now the problem is... 
They said there's three pieces total. They said there's three pieces total and that there's one in the study. So we need to go back and find that. It was basically a rod. We gotta go back and find that. Dolls to donuts if we don't. Dolls to donuts if we don't, they're gonna be like, oh, we need to go back and get it. I'd be like, fuck, I don't know if I can go. So let, let's do another, just let's do a, one, a once over again real quick, just to kind of like look around and figure out what it is. Also, I brought my own sedatives, which are jelly beans. Nope. 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 <laughs> I want you to imagine like a police officer, like a private investigator doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Just like, nope, nope, is it this? Nope. Hmm, is this the culprit? Nope. <laughs> so I did something about that, it strikes me as funny. I'm no, uh, mm -mm. Is it this? Nope. I checked. <laughs> it's like, you're not a real police officer, are you? Like, I don't know what you mean. I'm a man of God. Become Satan. Because, because of what I just did, my karma goes down by like 50 bagillion. Nah. Nah. Well, neither of those two rooms are it. The one I'm thinking of had what the store called Big Game Mountain in the middle. Uh, was it a Ferris wheel? Because I've been to one that was a Ferris wheel. No shit. Hang on a second. Nope. <laughs> oh, I think I knocked over the thing. Yeah. How great would it be if you see like something like walking? Nice. Yeah, just to see like the monster like right there. And like if you went in there initially, you wouldn't see it. It only shows up when you're out here. That was great. Uh, no, definitely have not then, no. I would have done, I would have totally. I would have had that detail. Granted, I'm an asshole that dreams of making a horror game someday. Honest to goodness, I would love to make a horror game someday. It would probably turn into like a Silent Hill Fatal Frame kind of a deal, yeah. If I if I personally made one. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I've done so much for you and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who in all fairness should have entered that gate. Uh Huh. 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 Something about that feels like it falls very quickly. See what I mean? It's weird, but oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I uh, take this chair. Okay, now let's take this piece of metal. Is it just weird? Does it fall faster? Maybe I'm going insane. Boot myself. Yeah. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside. The meter should read up eight and down eight. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. 
Trinity new Steam set functions for face amplitude complete Steam flow. Has not will not check proper configuration until ro all rods are inserted. Okay, so I need the Trinity Steam, the four phase, and the complete Steam. Right. Okay, let's see if let's see if any of those are not here. Emergency? No, that's, that's not it. Um, nope, that's not it either. That's not it either. That's not it either. What do you mean dot dot dot? Oh, you just literally can't tell. Uh, okay. So I'm guessing that means I need to go downstairs and see that. Okay. That sounds pretty dope, though. I'm guessing the reason you told me this is was there like a lot of taxidermy around it or. Okay, now we're gonna have to go back. Oh. Oh. As guys, the first thing I was gonna comment on was like, "Oh, look, the blood goo is on the whatever." But trees starting to fall over too. Like I said, my favorite scares are... Ooh, see that? I can barely see that coming to vision, but when I look at it... That means I feel the vision isn't perfectly a cone. I think it's a rectangle. But, um... It's the little scares. The little things that... You, uh, that they happen, but... No one brings them to attention. No music. No nothing. Just... Something small. Those are the best kinds of scares, I think. What? Ah! Well, son of bitch. How am I supposed to play in the pool? How am I supposed to play the ball? He's pretty cool. He said it'd be suicide. I'm gonna eat my candy. He flipped to the Book of Monarchs looking for etchings and count. But what's the true story? Because we have amnesia, Max. Probably that war the killer. That's how it usually ends up, right? At the end of all things, we're the monster. 5th of July, 1839. Haunted. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant we'll continue textbooks. eating jelly beans. Professor Taylor of the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun. And Globus Cruciger. As I was that was brought up before, I but I'm going to Google it. Conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Globus Sir... Hold on. Globus Circagus? Circagus? Circinus? Globus Sir... Sir, Sir, Sir. Can, can I look at the diary? Hang on. Diaries. Um, 
Globus Crucigar. Globus Crucigar. Oh, that's a holy hand grenade. Holy shit. Uh, huh. It's a holy hand grenade. Alright. Pressure. Under pressure. Pushing down on me. Pushing down on me. You're an asshole. Under pressure. Yeah, it was a mile mountain. They had a variety of irons along the slopes. And the guy who had the storm mile built also the, hunted the game scene all over the sun. Wow. Like, he killed everything that's there? That's really impressive. Wait, hold on, it said up eight, down eight, right? That actually works. Ha ha! Come on, raise my sanity, that was good! I only half remember that and I got it right. Come on. Give me some credit. Nah, I'm fine. Oh wait, do I gotta That is this like a twisting puzzle and I gotta like find the right things to turn. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Alright. It's probably fine. Under pressure. I don't know how that song goes. I'm probably gonna fix this bit next. Max, you could be okay over there. Under pressure. Me 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 Uh, let's storage the elevator. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all through crack again. I already did that, so. I don't think this is the right order. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. One guy was like, wrong number, Today, bitch. I feel like, this is a letter. But greatly from the others. From a baron. Look at a letter and he was like, new phone, who did Nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenberg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While Remind me next time someone sends me a letter and received, email to reply with that. Causes me greatest distress and interest. As it's I like, I can protect my you. My thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he Why can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. No, yeah, whatever. It's gonna drive me nuts. I don't know how the rest of that song goes. What song, Max? Under pressure. Wait, Trinity, four phase. You say it's like, wait, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if there's like another whatever I need to find or a series of pictures, and then it's like, 
Hang on a second, Trinity. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. What? Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. What superb voice acting. That sounded really good. Ah, shit. Oh, this shit can't stand. Now I gotta go play with every cog we like to find. I got a lot easier than I thought it would be. I'm like looking around at it like, oh shit, how is this gonna work? And I'm just like, bleh, bleh, done. Yeah, I need to be more okay with using tinder boxes. I don't know, I just keep thinking that like, you know, if this lantern follows me everywhere. This lantern follows me everywhere, but these tinder boxes don't, so therefore I should focus on the lantern. Right, but I have 40 fucking tinder boxes and one more thing of oil. It's not even a full thing of oil, it's just oil. Alright, where? We need to get more gears. I know I saw a few of them, but like, yeah, I'm trying to. Mm. Mm, no. Yeah, I saw a few. I just didn't. Yeah, I didn't know that I needed them. There you go. Hang on, I gotta carry this bitch back. Slam. <laughs> just. That's how you know good machinery. Take a beat. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that actually worked. Every time I, I find myself more in disbelief that me. God, can you imagine if actual engineering was like that? It was just like, I slam that shit. Alright, was there another key in here? I don't remember. This gear's about to close into someone's jaw, if you know what I mean. Walking quietly. I'm so stealthy. Look at me. There you go. Uh, what's this? Don't know what that's for, but. Uh, yup. Hey, what do you need some more work? Oh, I gotta. Shove some shit. Hang on. Hang on, I gotta do some manual labor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yes, I know. I'm supposed to do this now. But I was having fun. All right. Kobe. Damn it. Cool. That didn't count. Kobe. A little higher. A little, 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 just a little more oomph. A little, little, little bit more oomph. A little more. 
Go be Hey, first time. Go be Ah. All right, and uh, yeet. 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 No need to add more coal, but it's funny. Yeet. Yeet. And now it just works instantaneously. Absorb. Why am I going insane if it's working? Oh, that was my vision fixing itself. Oh, shit. Look at that. I don't think this shit's real. That of the flesh goo is following my aura, and as a result, I'm the villain because I'm fucking. Yeah, it just appeared. I'm fucking everything up. The fuck? Okay, every time that happens, is that the game being like, hey, now run? Is there like this invisible cloud of oh, shit? Where does this go? There it is. Fuck you. Is there like this just invisible cloud of daggers that follows you? That is just kind of like, hey, I do like the least possible damage, but I'm here to scare you. Like the fuck? It's like I'm being taxed. I'm fine. Yeah, it's like it does the least amount of damage. It's just the game's way of being like, all right, kid, hurry the fuck up. Now, the weird thing I will say about this game, I can't tell if I'm enjoying it. You know what I mean? I legit can't tell if I'm enjoying it. I think this game's incredibly clever in a lot of ways, right? This game's sound design and goal to make you feel uncomfortable. It's working stupendously. And I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say that for a moment. This game's horrifying as shit. He knew that. They were there. They all smelled the spice wine and mystic determined by clove and sage. You know what I mean, though? Like, this isn't a bad game. But A, I feel like I'm not actually in danger for as much as I think I'm in danger. And B, huh, oh, I got a thing I lived. You know, I feel like a lot of the scares are contextual. Which Come makes sense. This way. But. What was that? Forgive me. Should have warned you. Uh -huh. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. <laughs> They're not fed. Like dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Hang on. There you go. I will say though, throwing shit around. I haven't had this much fun throwing shit around. That's not true. I pro there's probably been a few times. But I'm reminded of Half-Life. How, like, it, it was just strangely, a lot of the fun was just playing with the physics engine. And this feels the same way. Oh, good. It's soup dark. Nice. Once again, really genuinely scary, but like, there's a certain amount of, if I just look at the game and say, ignorance is bliss, how much can I get away with? 
um, less by the second, it would seem. I keep thinking I actually have bugs on the screen. It actually looks like there's bugs on the screen. Oh, God, I hate this. Why is this a thing? Oh, this is making me soups uncomfortable. Why was this kicked open? Okay, let's, uh... <laughs> I need to use tinder boxes more, but, like, the lantern is just so much better. Yeah, what, you want me just to walk into that and hope I can find a torch? Half the time, there's not even torches. Like that, for example, right? How much in danger was I? Considering I could just sprint away. Can he sprint faster than me? What, do I just sit here and let madness take me? Am I fine? You know what I mean? Like... There's a lot of me sitting here and going, I'm not quite sure how I should feel. This game is incredibly unsettling, though. It would, it would... Yeah, this game's super unsettling. It would be practically a crime to not acknowledge that. I really hope they make it so that when those like little cutscenes are happening, like nothing can ever come and kill me because they like slow you down and all that shit. All right, so I bet a chipper is what they're going for, or like a hammer and axe. Yeah, the reliance on tinderbox. The reliance on tinder boxes is strange. Because clearly they want me to use tinder boxes all the time, right? Right, I think that much is clear. Clearly they want me to use tinder boxes. But you need a lantern in order to go see where the torch is so you can light the, so you can use your tinder box. So really the lantern is better in every way, but they want you to have make it so you can't just use your lantern all the time. But hurry, child. You must go. Find Gabriel, the outrider, and tell him to alert the king's men. No, you come too. Please, we don't have time to make the hole any wider. Someone is coming. Hurry, I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise. You. I'm gonna throw out a guess. What? I'm gonna urge them to alight from the carriage and force them through the castle gates. What? Yeah, it's like it's like the tinder box is only useful.
There you go. Prison, Northern Block. I'm willing to bet that's where I need to go. Let's look around first. Tell where the sound's coming from. There's nothing left. Everything's gone. Okay. again I don't know if I'm in danger or not I think that's part of what makes this game brilliant I think I really think that is part of what makes this game brilliant you never know when you're in danger other horror games you know like okay I know I ramble about dead by daylight but dead by daylight the whole terror radius mechanic is so you know when you're in danger. That's why so many killers, whole builds or perks or whatever, are all wrapped around... Okay, I think we're... That's why so many killers, perks, and bullshit are all wrapped around... Yeah, it are all built around hiding your terror radius so you can stop people so they don't know you're there. Well, this game is like having a terror radius at all times. Yeah, because I'm constantly like, you know, what can I do? Where can I go? Where's the next thing that I need? I can't stand still for too long or else. Here's the question. I would like to say that was very well done. Okay? How it like flashed so you could see it and then you see it actually coming towards you. That was very well done. But Am I and because like the constant terror radius bullshit, I can't tell when he's gone. But I also can't tell when he's here. So that's why there's a certain amount of me that's just kinda like And the memory sounds are going off all the time, so you can't really tell. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of conflicting signals. a lot of conflicting signals like I find this game fascinating and maybe okay when I originally booted up this game it made a big point of like hey don't play to win play to immerse yourself in the world and maybe that's what this is getting at it's not really about winning it's not really about Tell me about the mechanic.
Now they're fucking with my... Oh, it's stuck now. Sm Guess I'm lying down! I just have to listen to the floor for a little bit. You understand, right? Sometimes you just have to listen to the floor. And just pray that this isn't all ghastly gone wrong, right? Oh wait, is me doing that when my sanity- Is that what happens when my sanity gets too high? Is that it? Like, I, I start like laying down and screaming? Or... Is that it? Is that what that means? Oh, this is where I landed. Oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I just have to flutter it on and off. My tinder boxes are all dedicated to lighting areas I've already been to. So. But I don't know, like... I'm intrigued by this. I'm seeing, like... The first stages of horror games as we know them today. And I really appreciate it for that. But I'm also... Real thrown off. Like, I don't know if I'm enjoying this. You know what I mean? It's weird to say, but yeah, I can't... I can't tell if I'm enjoying this or, or not. What have I gained by... Oh... Oh. That's unfair. I mean, I just waste all my torches. I think that means I just waste all my torches. Eh, great. Nope, hi, 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 here we go. He unraveled the cloth protecting the ore, reached out, picked up, and held it against the light. Cover it, he said. Keep it covered at all times. Why would he not be like, hey, don't fucking touch it? It's like, hey man, don't touch it. Shit makes you go insane. Nice. Oh. Sure hope I chose right. There you go. Storage? I don't even know if this is where I want to go. Where am I trying to go? Great. They're like, your job is to sit here and pee your pants. I'm gonna run out of lantern oil, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, how the heck am I gonna operate if I run out of lantern oil? This is literally like, how else am I gonna be able to like look around, you know what I mean? 
How else am I, how else am I gonna be able to like do anything? I'm probably wasting all these shits. Well, it's for his own good. Max, I think you need to go towards the thing that spooked you. Max, why, why the heck would I want to go towards the thing that spooked you? Because that's where progress is. Silly. Second of August, eighteen thirty-nine. Oh, from Brandenburg. Yeah. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest, and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brandenburg. It's late in the like, evening. Like I just. The outrider, who was what am I feeling? advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Mühle, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the man who feeling? fell victim in love. With this game. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same Like, I'm really, I'm seeing what this game because started. Because of me. I'm seeing what this game has started, and like... Imagining in my head people playing it and going, Oh my goodness, this is brilliant, and being inspired by it and doing more. Yeah. It's gonna sound crazy, but I'm gonna go towards it because I'm in now in the dark. If I backed up, I would have been in the light more. Good plan, me. Thanks, me. Don't talk to Mr. Runescape, okay? Like, you'll be fine. Stand. I think this is them saying piece together the lore, Max. Get her back. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that information. But no, that's okay. Maybe I'm getting sleepy, right? He escaped. Where is he now? Okay. okay. You know, maybe this is me getting sleepy. I've been a little yawny. I've been a little yawny, let's be honest. To interpret that. Well, Max, the idea is that it's out of order.
Like... I'm really not sure how I feel about this game. I'm really not. And it makes me feel confused. Feels like certain things keep happening by cutscene and doesn't I don't feel consistency. I don't feel like I said, it's like I don't know when I'm in danger. I don't know when anything's real or when it isn't real. It's in very poor condition, but none of the things are doing anything about it to make it better. <sighs> the tasks are simple. They're all go to the place and find the thing. Just, and they don't give you a map, so you have to learn the environment so you know when to, so you can learn more about going to the place and finding the thing. The sounds in the distance are unsettling, but like, what is it? Something about this game and the way it's done. That I'm just like, just a few times it, okay. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe it's a matter of, I don't tend to like games that are just scary for sake of being scary and you can't do, Just want to do a test. Can you hear it? He's gone. Is this where I broke in? Yeah, but I've oh, I've really antagonized monsters. They told me. They said, hey, the monster's invincible. Don't look at it. Don't interact with it. And I've done so. August 1839. But I feel like I have <sighs> fled the world. Of Donuts, wine. there's three, the three the files. You always get them in the right order, guaranteed, on a forest which I love that. With towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten. As if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Zanad. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun mm. sets on Brennenburg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. But as like, he puts it, it seems like what I am I feeling? What am I feeling with this game? I think a lot of it does come down to, yeah, let's just put the lantern oil right beside the fire. I think a lot of it does come down to Max doesn't like playing horror games where he can't do anything about whatever scares him. I like knowing there's something I can do. Oh. Ow. The rudest shit. There you go. 
Oh, I need a container. Where happened to my- Oh yeah, that's right, I blew it up. <laughs> well, I'm glad the game actually accounted for me doing that. It's good. I imagine it's somewhere in here. There's gotta be a container. Right. Right. I know a button. Uh, dunk it. Oh. Huh. Hey, you do dunk You do. Yeah. Well, it's worth a shot. Just put it in the bottom side and be like, oh, it's so busy. I feel better that the game has acknowledged that. There's like, you know, they're like, hey, you have the right idea. Kobe. Damn it. They're like, hey, you have the right idea, okay? But like. <laughs> <laughs> you have the right idea, but not quite, not quite what we're looking for, man. You gotta go get something specific. I'm like, okay. Yeah, the quest seemed to be just to uh, go to the place and grab the thing. Which I know... I know at the end of all things... That's what a lot of video game quests are. Go to the place and grab the thing. Let me look in there again. Because I'm pretty sure I got... I'm pretty sure I, I got everything else. But like, what am I feeling? I don't know, and it bugs me. Ow, I didn't want to touch the fire. I wanted the pot. That's fun that they let me do that. I kind of hoping I could use the pot, but whatever. Um, how hurt am I? Oh, okay, good. Can you, like, throw some boxes around? Do I need to... Hopefully the boxes don't get, like, stuck inside of each other, and then it's just like, Bleh, you kill yourself, because fuck you. Alright, I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to go back and find something different. Work, damn you! Me. Does it float? No. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go back and look for something else. Am I too low energy? Like, what? What is it with me in this game? I'm just, I'm not feeling it. We'll still stream, like we can keep going, but I'm, I'm just not feeling it. Maybe it's because I don't like being scared for sake of being scared. Maybe it's because I don't have a way to actually fight back. So I just kind of accept whatever happens to me. Maybe it's that a lot of the things seem to be purely contextual. Barrel. Oh wait, yeah, there's an idea. Good idea, Max. Thanks. Glad to help. Well. I thought that was a good plan. I was gonna say, like, how much you want to bet I go into a room that, like, I can't access. And because I go into it, then I can, like, get the jar with the jar. And with the jar, I'll open the thing. And with the thing, I'll open the, you know. Yeah. I gotta. Excuse me. 
now. Kind of hoping there'd be a jar nearby. So it'd be like, it's in very poor condition. Oh, look, a jar. So that way you could pick up the jar and bring it back around. You know what I mean? Like, I feel disconnected from my purpose. I, I feel like in a lot of ways, I don't have a purpose. Yeah, I feel like I don't really have a purpose because it's like, you know, just walk forward, do whatever. <sighs> Watch, I'm gonna start sprinting and the game's gonna be like, bitch, I heard you having fun. You know, bitch, I heard you trying to do this shit quickly. Fuck you, and they're, they're it's just gonna pop out at me. They're like, you haven't really done anything yet. It seems like you're getting bored. I appreciate this memento thing, though. This memento system? I really appreciate it. You're kidding me. Stand on my tippy toes. Truly the stealthiest can be well hidden even while in Good light. Bullshit. Bullshit. Jeez, he was fast. All right, kiddos. What the fuck? Fuck you. Ah, oh, shit. Hang on. I lost track of where that door was, so that's gonna be a problem, but at least now I know it exists. Okay, so he can run faster than me, and he's stunned when I throw shit at him, because I was like trying to run, and he just went, like, meh, fuck you, and I'm like, oh god, and he's like, meh, fuck you, and I was like, you know what, fuck you, and that worked, so, what do I feel? I appreciate, okay. A lot of horror games... Okay, so I, I watch Markiplier on YouTube. I really like his content. Eh. But, you know, big surprise. He's got, like, half a bagillion. But, um... A lot of horror games, they just grab you and they go... Bleh, 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 bleh. You know, like... Like, if this is the face, they go like... Meh, 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 and then, you know, you're dead, right? This game at least has the courtesy of, like... Hey, you're caught. It's not the end, though. Like, you get hit. Alright, you're fine. Keep going. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that I could stun him, too. Thing is, though, he's not a constant entity. I also appreciate that when I hang out in dark areas long enough, my eyes adjust. No. Yeah, 
Yeah, see? My eyes adjust, but then I start going crazy. Was this where I was? There's oil here. So... Something. See, if I could, I would just work in the dark the whole time. But I can't, because I'll go crazy. Okay. 4th of August, 1839. Okay. The nightmares woke me in the early morning. And for a moment, I forgot where I was. But shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams. Here's some opium, kid. Calm the, the fuck pond. down. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he it's knew. It's loaded with opium. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within. And if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the. I orb. like that. It doesn't like it's slow I to get to you. I didn't care about so that way. It... And that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Well, if it knows you're at an end and you leave it at I the end, then. I would have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered, that things can be done, but at a price. I love the voice acting. Whoever voice acted, Daniel, phenomenal job. I feel a bit better now that I've encountered the creature, the shadow, you know what I mean? However, my base problem still remains. Or does it? I don't think it does anymore. Okay, so that's the jar. There you go. Stealth. Okay. So now I gotta get back to the kitchen, and then I gotta get back to that one room. You know, as much as I like, as much as I'm like really discovering this newfound love for horror games, it's a very specific kind of horror game that I'm looking for. Actually, no, it's not. It's not even that specific. It's more just like. It's not even that specific. He pops up behind me. No, it's just the. Uh, I like horror games, but I like horror games where I know I can do something about the situation. You know, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, shit was scary, shit was whack, but whenever anything, yes, but whenever anything came over to like, that's like, hey, you're going to die, you know how you dealt with it? The gun. With a gun. And what that, and what made those games brilliant was that they made you scared even though you had the tool you need. Like, oh god, what was it? Remember in the RE2? Or, yeah, it was already too. In the police station where, like, zombies just started, like, piling in through the windows. And how I immediately felt scared and dread because I knew I didn't have enough bullets. But I knew I could take them on individually. That shit. Dread. That, like, even when you have something you can do, it's not enough. Well, in this game, it's just, like, if he sees you, you're fucked. But they're nice enough that it's not instant fucked. But it's, like, getting there fucked. 
But the problem is, the creature isn't consistent. He comes and goes. He comes and goes as you make progress, not as a constant threat, kind of like Nemesis. Or, well, Mr. X kind of felt like that too, though. Where, um, he'd show up after a little bit because, you know, because you could escape him so quickly. Because you could escape him so quickly, it would just kind of be like, oh, shit, All right, and then you're gone. But he wouldn't follow you around. And I remember hearing that about the remake for RE2. That, um, Mr. X becomes less of a, less of like a, who'd you call it? Well, that was deeply unsettling. I'm not gonna lie, that was that was kind of unsettling. My sandy is not even that bad, so. <laughs> but um, I remember hearing that about Mr. X in uh in the RE2 remake that. He Said if, said if I look at him for long enough, if I look at him for long enough, he will find me, because my sanity will drop. I have no idea. Feels pretty damn arbitrary, though. Unless he's all. Unless the shadow is also. Crouching around a box. Right, I got the jar of acid. Cool. Is it because I've been subject to other horror games? Is that it? Is that the reason? Wait, hold on. There's no point in this hallway. Why did it go all red? Like... Have I been spoiled by Silent Hill and Resident Evil? Have I been disillusioned? Is it because I'm an adult? Is it because I'm not really one to play up when I'm scared or when I'm not scared? But I'm willing to sit down and look at things in a logical manner? Is it me wishing I had a brick? No. For brick needs. Bricks for brick needs, you know. Like having a brick. Ah, there we go. There you go. Of course. I can't. Asshole! Of course they had that happen right then. Uh, here's the question, can it survive loading screens? Nope, it can't. So you use the drain sewers as a means of transport? <laughs> Not very sanitary. Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spot <sighs> and are quite like... spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal. And when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. 
There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Like, am I just hating on this game unnecessarily? Am I being a turd? Am I not being fair? Okay. Max, you're always talking about how you should give old games chances and stuff like that, and I submit to that. That doesn't. That seems like oil. I should stream for a bit longer, but like, I don't. I don't know. I don't, hang on, I'll be right back. Hold on.
Alright, I'm back. But, um... I have to let the dogs out, so I don't want to quite start the game up again. I think I'm realizing what is getting me about this game. And why... Like, okay, let, let's cheat. Let's, let's, let's just cheat just a little bit. Um... This is how we'll judge. Okay, we're at Brennenburg. Or we... No, no... Hold on, we, we just did Brennenburg, right? Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on a second. Okay, hold on. We just did Brennenburg. Um, yeah, but at a price. Okay, okay, okay. So that that's about where we're at. We're about halfway through Brennenburg. See, then it's Discovery, Ritual... No, discovery, ritual, prisoners, the ceremony, visit, downfall, revenge. So I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet. I like how it has the same cursor. It's a nice detail. So I'm I'm willing to bet. We could easily get on a stream, like a stream and some. And if I really I. See, I was originally planning on being this whole game today. And, um... Oh, the dog's back, too? No, it's not. Eh, not quite. Nope, oh, that's Jenna barking. I don't know if you can hear that. Probably not. So... Hopefully the microphone can still hear me. So... If we really wanted to... If we really wanted to, we could push to the end. We we could we could we could stay up for another three or however many hours, and push to the end. We probably could, but yeah, fuck it. It's a Halloween special. Let's keep going until I get sick of it. I think this is one of those games that um introduced new ideas and new concepts, and everyone was like, "Oh my goodness, that's amazing." But, yeah. I think it introduced new concepts and new ideas, and everyone's like, this is amazing. But the true fruition of it isn't present until it grew further from it. You know what I mean? Like, to make up an example, right, the ideas were supposed to get grow. Okay. Like, just to... Like, as an example... Physics puzzles are like nice and clever though. Like I can really appreciate, I, I can appreciate them. You know what I mean? But um, I don't know. There's a lot I can sit, I can sit here and really appreciate about this game, and I mean that. There's a lot I could take him. The purpose of the insect has always been to study the orbs to find a way to force them to yield their power. However, he was still unaware of this. I mean, we kind of. It's kind of hinted on that. It's like, use the power. You could use the orbs against them. I prefer. But, um. Huh. I almost feel like this game had some brilliant ideas. But they weren't brought to fruition until those who saw it were inspired by them. Those first steps are important and should be recognized, of course. But it didn't truly come to be until later. I could pick this up. So I'm just going to... And maybe... 
maybe because I've played other games and because I've seen what inspired this, I'm disillusioned. I'm totally willing to acknowledge that. Nope, I've got this pipe here. I'm gonna keep that in the back of our heads. Move this one. Oh, there you go. I know what I just did, but I just figured out like it was lock picking. I can't tell what's moving. Unless it's simply the game's way of telling me that something is moving now. as before, first thing we'll do is we'll look around, see if we can find anything useful. It's stuck in position. It's stuck in position. Oh, they wanted you to go match it. I didn't match it, I just figured it out. Who's the smarty pants? There you go. Of course, that means whatever can follow me, but. So that, now that also means I can escape. Hmm. This room does not seem to have a purpose. Considering all the rooms so far have served some kind of purpose, I find that hard to believe. Okay. Okay, here's another one. Oh, the work I put into this machine is unequal by the reason of any man. Nah, I don't feel like it is because we can measure it in time. Uh, the thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. 
It has forced me to build a thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention the flow of tamed lightning crudely re replaced by pressurized steam pushing its way through uh, pipes and turbines. It changes me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster. Where, it, where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts, I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron in the hope it will have even the tiniest hint of the power found in a traveler's locket. So why you can't make a clock unless you make it huge? Is that what you're trying to say? Or your monster. I doubt this is all for Frankenstein's monster. Alright, well, let's give it a try. Okay, stuck. Okay, stuck. Okay, stuck. Okay, stuck. So I'd say it's like down, up, up, down. You gotta pick this shit up. Because eventually they're gonna be like, you need a shit ton of pipes, bro. So we're just gonna. Is there a pipe in here? Nope. I can find out what this is all for, though. I got a wooden crank now. Because the game said it glue blue, so I knew it was important. I'm getting real snippy with this game. Like, I... Okay. Da, down. Down. There you go. Of course. Er. Up. Up. There you go. Is there a pipe? Daniel? Is that you? Are there holes there? Damn. <laughs> Just damn. I bet. I bet if I rub this. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I. I. I bet like if I rub this or yeah. Like, hold on. Nope. <laughs> it's like hey, no, this only goes one way, man. Don't think too hard about it. And I'll go okay. I don't know, like, I have to once again remember, this game's old. This game's old. I'm an adult. Why would they have this door that has this crank system? Alright, yeah. Because you unlocked the door, you get the bad ending. All right, rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. What about this one? What about this hole? What about this? Why, why don't those two holes matter? Why is it saying it's done? Why, why, is, why is it saying it's done? I don't understand. How did I know which holes to put into it? Or w how do I know which holes matter? Maybe there's a note I was supposed to get. What's my goal now? Oh, I know the machinery's work is to just go back. I like the motherfucker to think about coming out that door. Bam! I knew I couldn't bring it with, but just to be like me. He cries as the spectacle began to consume the blue shimmer. So what? You corrupted it with your evil dark magic in order to, in order to hoopty poopty. 
I go, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know, I got those two, but. Need a push. A push from what? A push from what? A push from what? Like yo, like yo, bro, quit playing with the lever. It's done. I don't understand it. I'm gonna see you, jelly beans. Roll. Hey, Red Rose, it's good to see you. I'm... I... I don't really know how I feel about this game. And I think, to be completely honest, the answer is not good. And not like I'm too scared or anything like that, but like... Okay, yeah, well... You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking. Hey, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. How's my... Okay. Like water mill. Exactly. Like... It runs out steam early on if you're Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Like the sound design and everything was like all really cool and like really cryptic and shit and I was all forward and down it. And Okay, so we got another whatever. Whatever. But like I don't feel like I'm in control. I don't know when I'm in danger and when I'm not. I don't know what anything really, truly means. Yeah. I don't even know what that just did. So whatever. They want me to hide in the dark and not to look at what's scaring me, but I need to know where it is. And I need to stay in the dark so it doesn't see me. But I don't know when it's actually there or not. It's Terry, it makes no sense. Like... Like... It's like... It's like this game had a brilliant idea. Alright, okay. Let's finish this. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to attempt... Is there a lady pictures. crying in the back? I don't give a shit. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Yeah, there's a lot of me, like, I recognize so many quests in video games are go to the place and collect the thing. And, and I get that, but it is turning repetitious. And like, the few times there's like genuine little puzzles, I like the little puzzles. I like the little whatever. No, I like that. Oh wait, hold on. If water has slowly begun to fill the... Shit. That's not fair. That's not fair. Oh. Uh, I don't like... I don't like just walking around and just being like... How many... Like, there's so many puzzles I've solved just by me going... 
Blech. It's done. I did it. Kind of hoping I could. <sighs> I need a gun. Well, I can't climb up it. I can't climb up it, so clearly... Less interaction. Like... Okay, I'm, I'm realizing my newfound love for horror games, right? But it's a very specific kind of horror. I think that seems gonna block me. I'm about to sneeze. Okay, never mind. I think my deal is that I like horror games, but I also feel like... I also like being in control. You know, I like Resident Evil and Silent Hill because as much as shit's scary and it's like awful and it sucks, right? They give you a gun. They tell you there's a way to fight back. And it's not perfect. It, it's not perfect and it's hard and, you know, it's scary as shit. But there's a modicum of, like, control. So you can, like, do something about like Dead Space. Dead Space is horrifying, but the entire time they're like, Yo, dude, here's a gun! And the shit's scary because you have to figure out how to make the gun work. And... Now that's all dark, and the game's yelling at me. And... But how about that? There, I did it. I lit it. I lit the torch that is for my benefit only, and even then, it's not even my, it's not even my benefit. Fuck this. Fuck. And I gotta go all the way... Oh, back over here. Let's see. Uh, you need a balance of interaction, lots of control, not totally on tracks like a. Yeah, like. I'm all for the game trying to spook me, but just going. Bleh, that's it. Like. I got scared initially because, like, the creeping sounds in the dark, but now that I'm realizing they're meaningless, it's just kind of like. Whatever, who cares? Probably need to get over there. Yeah, I need to get. And like the warbling of everything is really cool, and the sound design is really cool. But oh no, I already did this. What the fuck am I doing? The fuck is any of this? Let's see. Silent Hill takes everything aside from bosses optional in the fight too, which makes it even better. Like. Yeah, the idea of, like, you can fight, but it might be better if you don't. Just focus on running. I feel like whatever's in there and is drowning and... I don't... Oh, it's a reflection. I was say, like, uh... What? Fish! Hello, fish! Hello, fish! Come back! But, like... Ow. Oh. Oh, it's, it's one of these. Thank you. And now I am out of health potions. Well, I, how many times have I ran into that with Resident Evil? Where, like, where, like, big scary monster. I'm like, oh, shoot it. And the game's like, no, you're supposed to run. And I was like, well, I didn't know. You've taught me that every problem is solved by shooting it. So I'm going to shoot it. I remember that happened. Um, the one time I played God of War, the first God of War, that's what happened too. There was a room that I was in for like 30 minutes just killing shit. And then eventually I realized there was a puzzle. And the point was you're supposed to stop the flow of like got like whatever herpes. And I was just like, but you told me to kill shit. Like I didn't realize. I... August 1839. Yeah. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark. I like the story, here. but it's it gonna like end up like every single other fucking Lovecraft story, where we do drugs and hopefully die. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of like, science uh... in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the oh, walls the burst with pulsating screen. tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and uh. the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, 
Also, the monster is just like a naked dude with his lip hung out, which is freaky, but once you actually get... Eh. Almost everything's like that, though, once you actually get a good look at it. It's not scary, so... Yeah, it's just... Uh, whatever, just spin ding. God, I hope that works. Oh, spooky! Remember all those tinder boxes you wasted to light the area up? Eh, ah, well, you wasted them even more now, so... Meh. Now we have this arbitrary status effect that's gonna warp your screen, which admittedly is really cool how it warps your screen. But, you know, it's really just a countdown timer. It's really just a countdown timer to kill you arbitrarily when we're, when we're done playing. You know what I mean? Like, that. it's the button for when we feel like you should be dead. That's when you die. Max, that's a really generalized, unfair, and oversimplified explanation for how the light mechanic works. Yeah, but it kind of feels like that. It, it kind of feels like it. That's just kind of like, and eh, fuck you. Don't stay in the dark too long. Keep it moving. Come on. <sighs> I like the bugs on the screen, though. I think the bugs on the screen... Oh. Yeah, it sounds like a crying lady. Isn't, that, isn't shit weird like that? What's my purpose here? Uh, there's valves that assist to redirect power from the sewer. and the sewer must first be drained. Isn't this what I'm supposed to be doing? Did I win? I just redirected the water twice. Or once. Did I? Once did I? I don't know. That, nah. How the fuck am I supposed to lower that? I feel like such a grouch. I feel like such a party pooper. That it's just like, meh. Max, what do you think of this game? Am I spoiled by modern day whatever? Bullshit. 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 The monster reminds me of an Argonian uh, uh, doing too much skooma in the Elder Scrolls. To be honest, the bug eyes and the hyperactive movement. I checked them all out and I started laughing because I guess I just have a warped sense of humor. But, um, like, I've seen its character model before. Just, you know, inevitably through osmosis, I've seen what it looks like, right? And it's an interesting design, but at the end of the day, I mean, heck, we go to Steam and we just scroll down. At the end of the day, it's a thing with slit eyes and a big, big mouth. Yeah, there it is. There it is. It's just, it's got a big mouth. And that's about the end of it. It's like, it's cool, but I don't... I think it's more just that I'm hating on everything else already, and this is just kind of like adding to it. And not so scary now when you have a bow. Like, okay, where the fuck is the lever to this thing? This is clearly what they want me to do. This is clearly where I need to go. And I'm running out of oil. And the game's gonna look at me and say, Ha, you're dumb because you ran out of oil. You're so stupid. You gotta rock. And there's a the sound of drowning in there. I can got a rock. Look at this rock. I've never watched X Files. That's not true. I've watched like one, maybe two episodes of it. So I believe you, but I couldn't say. I will stand on this tiny rock slightly. Oh no, hang on. I will stand on this tiny rock slightly, increasing my bullshit. And yet, nope. Uh, huh. Wait, hold on a second. Ah, damn it, I was gonna say it's a piece of wood! Ooh, piece of candy. Eh. That was a clever idea. They escaped through the toilet or shower? Oh, god. It's awful. It was great. 
Look at this rock that I could grab previously, but I can't grab now. Literally, roll it down here, climb up, climb up, you're there. But I can't. Look at this. Climb up, but I can't. I... I'm just a party pooper. I'm just an absolute party pooper. Everyone's like, Max, this is one of the greatest horror games ever made. I'm just shitting on it. I'm shitting on it because I'm dumb as... Because I'm dumb as bricks. No. Oh, come on. Oh, is this the segment that broke you? Because I was going to say, the, the part where, like, the thing was in the water and you had to, like, carefully, like, drop stones and shit like that and drop boxes. I thought that was... A... <sighs> Great. I thought that was all a good fun. I enjoyed that. Because, you know, things made sense. Yeah, like, it, it was scary, but it made sense. There was a logical progression to it. I knew I was in danger and I could... Do something about it. Yeah, I, I, I like that. I, I was all about it. Yeah, this is way past that. This is a second water area, and I can't fucking find the le lever. And I'm I'm at the stage. I'm just gonna go fuck. I'm googling it. Amnesia sewer lever. Lever for the bridge. Stuck at the bridge thing in the cistern. Perfect. When you're uh. Uh Oh Oh Nah, no, that's not quite it. What room what room is this? Nah, my nose. Uh Uh A, nor a normally quiescent, like quizzical, or oh, a uh, carnic in the area as well. What's a car? Oh, it's that thing. Uh, this is done by picking up a rock and throwing it at the star. Oh, you have to throw a rock. Go. Guess I'll go back and I'll throw a rock at him. So I'm just more annoyed. This game's trying to be scary, and I'm just like, fuck, fuck this. Just, just grab a damn rock and just gonna fucking. Oh, your sanity! Boo -boo. Just gonna grab a rock and just gonna. I don't... You know, it stands to reason a rock ain't gonna break a chain, but I guess it is. Let's find out. Maybe just go just throw that shit. Well, I guess rocks can break chains now. I'm just gonna just whatever. Just, get, just jump over. Just jump over. Yeah, jump over. I am just shitting on this game endlessly. If anyone out there like absolutely loves this game, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like the lore. But, uh, it is still early. And my Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? You know the nature of the orb, so how do you know it can't be tamed? When Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's I'm true not potential. Be this minds. might turn Blah. out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Dude, bro, the guy's looking to teach him magic. Oh, it's spooky. But, uh, yeah, if you make me lose patience in a horror game, you're probably not doing it right. Yeah. Yeah. I love the camera warping, though. The camera warping's so cool. Where's the game? Well, let's do a test. Yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah, clearly they're saying my Sandy is going out the poop. I know, my Sandy's crystal clear. Fuck that, whatever. Who cares? My Sandy's crystal clear. Alright, so is this thing all happy now or what? The voice went silent. Yeah, it seems like there's a dude in there. Or a lady. Or a dude who looked like a lady. Or a lady who looked like a dude. Their life too. Their, it's their life choices. I ain't gonna be good. Hey, if their kid gets to be drowned alive like that, then who am I in song? Let's see, the hostile number pad key code riddle was one of my banes back in the day, but that's a different kind of annoyance. I was more annoyed I was stuck in a creepy ambience and wanted to move on. I was about to have Heather go look for a power drill. That one, that one I was more annoyed by because, like, I had, I mean, you were there for it, right? I had, like, the right idea, but it wasn't quite the way they wanted it. It was being just, like, a little persnickety. It's just like, man, I have the right idea. Fuck you. But still, that shit made you think. It was great. I loved it. All right, well, I flipped, I flipped the bullshit, so... God, I hope I find a healing item soon, cause... <sighs> Grab a rock. I would like to... Yeah! Oh, that actually worked. Can't believe that actually just worked. God, that one that was like... You had to read. Was it Shakespeare or was it like a bunch of different books? We were like trying to read them all. I was just like, oh. Did that work? Yeah! Now how do I get down without killing myself? I think I just killed myself. I think I have to get off. Yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up. I think the idea was I had to like throw it on there and then get off before then. But honestly, I'll probably just go at like all like all love crafting heroes and just kill myself. Is there really no way to? Now the game's just like fuck you, man. Let's see. Uh. Wait, really? Yeah, that was the face one. That's what I remembered. But I was thinking of um, the Shakespearean one. That was the one where you're in the record store. That was fun. I like that one too. But um, all right, everyone. Just gonna tell you right now, I am going to die. So let's all just acknowledge that and figure it out from there. Wow, I lived. They let me live. They let me live! Wow! <laughs> I thought they were gonna kill me! Oh, hopefully they give me a bunch of health. The Vitae? Oh, that's probably the stress energy. Wow! I can't see shit! Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. Mm. What? The shadow. It has. Mm. Come. Let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yeah. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor to the morgue. Are there more dead men? Yeah. You did well. What a prison for. Come, let's get going. I don't mind difficult puzzles as long as it's like. Like, I mind puzzles when they're like factors they just expect you to figure out or they're just like unfair. You know what I mean? Oh, hey, I'm actually healing. I got a cop too. 
I made them feel the stress. Do I heal every time they, uh, ah, it's better than it was before. Oh God. What is that bug? Three days now. This is uh, oh, the one with like the eyeballs going crazy. Oh, that was a good time. He's like, just see me freak out, and I just walk up to it. I'm just like, I had these people, whatever, to death. Got it. Did I heal though? I healed, yeah. Maybe she knows. Why is it the ship creaking sounds, even though we're in a stone structure, I think is so interesting. It's so scary. Oh, this is gonna be good. Uh, why would the blood just stop there? How to do, the neighbor? How's it going? Wow, they actually are showing like. I'm pretty sure that was, pretty sure that was, a, that was an illusion. I think he's actually talking to me. So, uh, that's just gonna, oof. Uh, well then. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Wow, I healed. What, is the landum dumb only supposed to? Huh. All right, the vaccine enabling men are working in the fungi run series of deficits. Unfortunately, a few of the servants have been remedied as the procedure proved difficult. Others perished, but shots to create more of them to keep my experience in. Uh. Oh, okay. What about this? What about this bullshit? What? What? Who is, who is talking tonight? Yeah, they're straight up showing Pengus. Which I'm surprised wasn't flagged by Hillary Clinton in 2010 or whatever. They're probably suicided. Anyways. All right, the strange death among the servants in the prison have finally resolved. See, there's a drain sewer, which was recently been open for use as a means of transport. It's probably by peculiar poisonous fungi. The victim seemed to have suffered an extremely quick outbreak of sickness, affecting the entire body. Oh, that's why they were locked in that room. Uh, some of my men, including myself, are blissfully spread, but it's clear, but it's clear that the cripples are by far gone. Prisoners die quickly, they're contaminated with Vita, lacks the energy I seek. I shall I shall immediately start working on things. Yeah, Vita is definitely going to be stress life energy, so fuck you, Pingus man. Actually, wasn't that bad of a shot. There is a joy to this game, but it's not the joy that they wanted me to have. Is this how I lower my sanity? Ah, come on. No, no, a little further. Uh, yeah. Bullseye! Alright, my sandy's good. Crypt of the Necropene. I liked it better when it was about dancing and rhythm. This is bullshit. Alright, um, what's my purpose here? The fine copper tube found the morgue looks like a part of a surgical tool. Shove it on the peen. Like, I ain't gonna judge your kink. Now these are these are plague victims. God, where's that foot guy when we need it? <laughs> Not as bad as. Hmm. Not them very still. Not really. Oh. It's supposed to be recent if they're all still like this. Yeah, whatever. Uh, now you're about to learn how to cal cal. Fuck down. Jeez. I'll just take a moment to 
Oh god. How does blood like that even form? I don't wanna touch him. Well, I'm disturbed. Well, what have we learned? They didn't look rotten though. They, they didn't they didn't look rotten. They looked like they were just kinda there. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a light here just for sake of like maybe helping her. The fuck is my purpose? Okay, take this hammer. Nope. Okay, take this hammer. Nope. Oh hot damn. There you go. Is it just periodically respawning shit for me? Cause hot damn. That'd be dope. It also makes it really confusing to figure out where I have and haven't been. The fuck is this morgue? <laughs> what am I doing? Am I done here? Am I not done here? Wait, wait, hold on, what? Blood is super thick, so you could dilute it in a, in a, let's say, fountain. It would look like there's more than there is. Wait, hold on, what? To what are you an- Oh, you're talking about that shower? Kind of deal? I pingus man. Tell me what you know about what I'm supposed to be doing. Or else I'm going to tickle you with this. How cool would it be if they actually, like, let me, like, start doing surgery? Alright, uh... TOS. Damn it! Look, I just wanted to stab him, alright? With a knife. With a knife, yes. The fuck is my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing? Well, Max, you're supposed to be making a vaccine, because otherwise you can't get through the sewers. I ain't seen no tools to make a vaccine. Let's fucking leave. What's the point of this area? I'm out. I'm bored. This game is making me depressed. I'm gonna have lantern fuel. All the scares are contextual. Sandy is a bullshit status effect. I went the wrong way again. Playing with a dead pingus man isn't fun. Yeah, these tinder boxes and they don't do anything. I, I can sit here and complain. I can sit, I'm pretty good at sitting here and complaining. I don't know about you guys. Shoot. Anyways, uh, did I actually drain the sewer? Yeah. I don't think Necropete is ever fun. It's more just like, you know a dead space where you just grab a body after a little bit, you just kind of start flinging it around to see what you can and can't do? It's like that. We are just kind of like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> just gonna wee. These guys start flinging bodies around for giggles. Well. So. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's like that. That's where the fun of it comes in. Okay, so. Where do they want me to go? Clearly. Okay, so it's not the machine. Oops. It's not the machine room, because that's what we did to get the machinery working. It's not the old, it's not the whatever. It's not that room. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this got the machinery to work. Huh. That, we already did the sister. So we do have to go to the land of Necropene to make a vac, oh god, I don't want to be in the Necropene. We forced Ray to try to play that a few months ago. That was our only scene. Does that every now and then you can just pick up a body and just go. Bleh, 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 bleh. 
It's like every time she's stressed, she just picks something random up and is like. <laughs> okay, let's just let's figure this shit out. That's open. Okay, so we got Sabit, we got Bone. We got that, we got uh, 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 Okay, nothing in here. There's nothing in there. We checked it. We know there's nothing in there. Uh one well, of the bodies lost an arm and then turned to a turned down down the hall. God, I loved when that happened, or like when a body would just start spinning. At like rapid speeds, like it would just be like, and you just watch it. Like, how long is that gonna go? <laughs> Start laughing, to your friend. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Okay. How do you make vaccine? This is Max being irritated with the game, not gonna lie. Like, I'm literally in just whatever mode. Like, I'm, I'm sick of this game's nonsense. Give me the damn vaccine. Alright, hold on. I gotta go. Yeah, once again, I'm at the stage of just like, I'm just gonna Google it. Let's see, I wonder if they're gonna change the plot in the remake when it drops. So it is a remake, it's not a, it's not brand new bullshit. A little disappointing. Okay, ow. Fuck, whatever. There's literally nothing here. There's literally nothing, okay, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. Oh shit, didn't know that. Okay, vaccine. All right. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? No, no, no. Group B. Hmm? I, I was genuinely hoping it was a new story, not a... Oh well. Hold on. So I just want, just want to talk about this for a second. A note on a nearby table explains the transfusion of blood from a person who has already had the vaccine will provide enough protection to pass through the sewers unharmed by the fungi. To get the vaccine blood in your circulatory system, you must first use a hand drill into the skull of the deceased lying on the table. After drilling a hole into the skull, you need to assemble a syringe using the hollow needle and a copper tube found in the morgue. After creating the syringe, you can then use it to eject yourself with the blood. I'm glad that they're making use of tools I already have, but that ain't how this process works, love. That ain't how this process works at all. God, I hope we share a blood type. Wait, hold on. What do you mean by you know, uh, knowing what I do? Just take this knife. Just go. Also, we went into the brain, not like the thigh or the wrist or. There are no closets or anything, so. I should have grabbed something so I could have thrown it at him. Damn it. We would have made more pro- like, pro- like, we would have made more progress stabbing the leg and drinking it. They told me not to look at the creature. 
Could be Pyramid Head for all I know. God, I hope it's Pyramid Head. Can I be Big Spoon? No, I need to be Little Spoon. He's much taller than me. Hindsight, I should have chose the room not with the water. And now I'm going to sit here and go insane. Sit in light for a little bit. Okay, sit in light for a little bit. Just gonna sit in the light for a little bit. Fire who cleanses us all from our sins, purify us from the heathens before us. May their smoke please you, my lord. And it was. For people were lusting at it too much. <laughs> Apparently that did happen, yeah. It happened before I played it, but I still thought it was the funniest shit. Got a big bullet. Bigger but dark dark. Alright, so what was that monster? Fuck if I know. They told me not to look at it. I can't appreciate how scary it is if I can't look at it! But Max, the mo you said yourself, the moment you can accurately stare at things, the less, like, the moment it stops being scary. I know, but still. If anyone should be less nervous of anyone in that game, it should be Pyramid Head, because he is kind of like an embodiment of sexual whatever, but anyway. <laughs> boogity boogity. Let me get the fuck out of here. Yay, sewer! Wait, what? I'm so clever. Bleh, whatever. Go play in the sewer. Harvest the mushrooms for Skyrim and eat them. I'm losing my shit. But he's not wearing anything, only a source coat. Yeah, uh, maybe not. Like, I admit that, but that doesn't mean I'm horny for him. Only as a joke, and even them. Oh, look, there he is. He came out of the psalm, or whatever the fuck that is. Oh, look, I can stand on this to hide. Oh, Pyram in Dead by the other Pyramid has my favorite killer. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love him. He's a, there's a, he, like, he's a great mascot for Silent Hill, even though he should only ever be used once and then never again, but, you know. Well, he went that way, so that's probably why I'm going to go. Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also still love whenever, like, on the Dead by Daylight or Silent Hill Reddit, people are like, who would win to fight Pyramid Head or like literally anything else? Cool. And it's like, you know, the game Pyramid Head really doesn't do much shit, right? Because you're just like a normal dude. The point is, is that he's eternal. And like always coming for you, kind of a thing. And I always find that kind of funny, but that's a side. That's a side note. That got me, not gonna lie, that got me. How cool would it have been if like sunlight was there? Just like that little bit of like, oh hey look, sunlight. That little bit of hope, that faint glimmer. The chance that something somewhere, someone up there is looking down, helping you through this. Dear God, give me a gut now, kid. <laughs> Let's see, uh... Yeah, but that game sucked overall. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely like, ah, oh, he's here now, I guess. Yeah. 
It's like, okay, so what what does he represent to the game? And they're like, uh, nothing. It's like, that's that's not the reason he was cool. He was cool because he represented something. The fuck am I doing? That's the other problem with this game. It's just endlessly, the fuck am I doing? All right, fuck am I doing with this? Wait, hold on. When you say five, you are talking about homecoming, right? I was trying, like, I tried to like five, okay? I tried to, like, I try to like every game I play, okay? I want that saved for the record. I try. I have no idea what I'm doing. But now I hated 5 in general. Wait, okay, wait, hold on. The thing I really liked about 5, I thought the visual effect of, like... That's all good, man. I, I get it. Um, the thing I loved about 5, and apparently, like, like you told me, this is more like the movie than the game. Um, the, uh... Seeing reality go away into like the flesh and like the the rusty steel or iron or whatever, like the effect of, like the little triangles going. I thought that was really cool visually. Just want to state that for the record. I thought that was really cool visually. Everything else was shit. <laughs> nah, it's not true. I bet if I like looked back and like played some of the bots for myself and like skipped around, I bet there's other aspects I can remember. Like, Downpour was really clever in a lot of ways, and that got really annoying. But, it was also really clever, so, yeah. Anyway, so if there's one, so there's nine combinations. So here's, here's what we're gonna do. One. Nope. Two. Nope. You best believe we're brute forcing this shit. Well, there are a lot of things about that game that I didn't think were that good, but um, other aspects of it I thought were very clever. Like, you know, their goal, make an open world, or make a more open world Silent Hill game. It's like, I can actually get down with this. Yeah, that, that part did get annoying though. Granted, they made it so you got weapons like often enough. Is the goal to make this machinery loud or quiet? Eh, whatever. Fucking serious. Are you fucking serious? They only show up whenever there's progress. It's not organic. And now I have to sit here and ask myself, is it the ambient sound? Is it the music? Is it the heartbeat? Is it the screams in the distance? How do I know if he's still here? I don't. I don't know. There's no indicator. And if I look at him, I go insane. He literally showed up to stand here, and because I was quick enough to hide, he disappeared. Like, what's the point? That wasn't open before. Wait, was it? No, this was open before, because, yeah, it was that one. Now, hopefully, I accidentally solved this shit. So I have to go back there. Yeah. Look, okay, so I chose I chose Amnesia. Yeah, exactly! I 
Amnesia impacted horror games all around the world. I'm like, fuck yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. This is gonna be great. Like, I want to enjoy this, and I'm just having a real hard time. Everything that happens, I'm just like, whatever. God, I really do have resty, resty bitch face, don't I? I, I want to enjoy this. Oh look, spooky, scary. Oh look, someone shoved a tinderbox in a pipe. The game's like, remember when we had light mechanics? I don't. Uh, only when you're annoyed. I try not to be. Pipe seems to be loose. I have a pipe now. I'll shove in a bigger person and then slit my wrist and put my arm in it. The fuck am I supposed to do with this pipe? There's no information on the noisy machine. It's not even a weapon. Let's fucking go. Ah! They said in the beginning, they said in the beginning that it's like, hey, that shadow thing, I tried literally everything on it. Don't fuck with it and run. I was like, ah, cool. Thanks, game. Thanks. Thanks for, thanks for that. The game say, don't be disillusioned that you can run up and punch it. I was like, I don't know. I threw a chair at it. It was stuck. Fuck you. Like, I threw a chair at that bitch and it got stunned. Does that count? Here's a terrible idea. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Well, I guess I slowed it down. You're kidding me. It worked. I did that as a joke. Ah, uh, uh. Alright, now, now this big shadow scary monster will pop up. Maybe here-ish. I'm so bitter. I'm so unbelievably bitter. I was ready for this to be the scariest and creepiest. Impossible. The uh, uh, scariest and creepiest shit. I don't even remember which. I don't care. I do not care. Let me solve every puzzle on accident again. Whatever, we've seen this at all oh, this. Oh, look, it's the red goo of your getting shit done. Oh, uh, thank goodness, it killed it. Daniel, turn around this instant. You are carrying the shadow with you. Hold on. <laughs> you carried the shadow right with you. Can't resist. Anyways, anyways, shadow open. So you tell me that thing isn't the shadow then? Uh, sorry, but you already played to the best of the best. Now all it's left is indie games, the old cheese fest like Phasmagoria. Oh, Phasmophobia. I heard good things about that, but also that you should only play it with friends. Wait, hold on. I've got. No way I've gone through the best of the best. We did Resident Evil and Silent Hill. We still got Alien Isolation and Dead Space and we're never touching Five Nights at Freddy's and uh, fucking uh, Into the Mine. Uh, that's that's the name of the song Miracle of Sound did. Uh, no, 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 we got, we got more horror games. Uh, the one with like the visual of the guy like covered in bar bar going meh. Like, yeah, I, pl I played the first Dead Space all in one night. That was fun. But, um, yeah, we got Evil Within. We got Alien Isolation. There there there's hope in the world. We're just never going to touch uh, Amnesia Machine. Excuse me. We're just never going to touch Amnesia Dark Descent. Or, sorry, Amnesia Machine for Pigs. Great. And there he is. 
Seth, the fuck? Are you serious? Are you serious? There's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to hide. What? Fuck off! What was I supposed? Big and spooky. He runs faster than me. So the fuck am I supposed to do? At least they saved me so I'm right here. I can appreciate that. You know, they're not being like, and fuck you, you gotta like redo whatever. Like, I. I'm gonna slap it with it. I'm gonna slap, I'm gonna slap it with this arm. What, did the game take mercy on me? The game was like, hey, you're dumb as bricks, so you can't run fast in shin high water. I guess it was make it disappear because you're a bitch. It's like, fuck you. I'm holding W and shift. That's as fast as I can go. Fuck off. <sighs> yeah, sorry. I feel bad about that. And yeah, it was it was Resi 5 that was doing. It was Resi 5 that was doing. I, I feel bad. I don't I don't like being angry. Oh really? You think that's the thing that I should do? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, darling. Yeah. Maybe have you considered running with your tootsies? The game's like, alright, we're gonna put you a little closer now because you're still dumb as shit. You gotta walk like an Egyptian. Ah. Of course. They're lying. The perfect strategy. <laughs> but like, yeah, the Resi 5 thing, it's back to the adventures of instant kills. Because you notice I was totally fine with that game until they're just like, and fuck you, instant kills every five feet. Then it's like, okay, this is bullshit. How you can't climb the ladder with your with your blade arm, can you, bitch? You cutscene arbitrary contextual ass monster that can instant kills me. Fuck you. Instant process.exe kills for the win. Uh But um Yeah, if it wasn't for the instant kills, I would be more okay with this situation, RE5. Or if, unless you're talking about like the Wesker bullshit, cause yeah, that was bullshit. That whole fight was dumb. We still have to redo it. We still have to beat it. I don't know what. Oh hey man. Okay, read the letter. Dear diary, this is bullshit. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The hoarding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Yeah. Alexander made yeah, warding ritual my ass. He, he just, like, I killed to someone the ritual to, like, in order to have the right effect. sustain him. Mm. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could uh. I do? Alexander said it had to be done. 
He is saving my life. I don't have that makes murder okay. Argument. But now we're gonna, we're still gonna have to, we're still gonna have to fix some um, Resident Evil Five. That that's gonna be something that has to be done. It's gonna suck. Just slam my face into the door. It's gonna suck, but I think we can do it. It's just that fight was really getting to me. Because a lot of it is, it's stuff outside of your control that you can't really do anything about, and the game's just like, fuck you. And the game's just like, fuck you, you're gonna die, and it's your fault, and now you have to restart the whole game, and, you know. Wanna hear something good? I would love to hear something good. Graveyard Keeper just came out with another DLC. Ooh. Except, does that mean I'm gonna have to like replay the entire game? And like beat the entire game again? <laughs> like, I started another playthrough once I beat it, and then I just kind of stopped because I was like, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> I like this game, it's not perfect, but there's a lot of things I do like about it, but I'm done. <laughs> also, what is with that game company and, um, like referencing Breaking Bad repeatedly? No. Like, it's a good game, but. It's a good game, and I love the feeling. Yes. I I like the Soon, farm simulator aspect of it. But um, Your life it's like I I don't want to play it again. <laughs> but will it be worth living? I didn't pay attention. Is that guy gonna become a vegetable? Yeah, but like every DLC, they're referencing to show like that. It's like okay, why? <laughs> Uh, nope. Yeah, that's probably what it would be. I would, I would just, if I wanted to enjoy that DLC, I'd have to restart it again. Which I mean, it's a good game, but I'd like to play other games. That guy's still alive, isn't he? Excuse me. You're alive, aren't you? What the fuck? Great. Pull the switch next to me. You sure, man? Pull the switch. You sure, man? This is you asking for your death, isn't it? Thank you. You have my gratitude. Uh. Uh, the concerned haunted chocolatier. You run chocolate factories, happy ghosts to help you sell things. There's a fucking doorway to Narnia where you go to farm your ingredients. You come. That sounds delightful. That sounds so stupid, and I love it. Is my mic peaking? I just realized that. God, I hope my mic has been peaking this whole time. I'm gonna feel awful. Please, please tell. Okay, we're good. It's just because I got real close to it. Like, that sounds positively de- oh, it, that sounds positively delightful. My name is Agrippa. Who might you be? Who's Agrippa? Daniel? Like a prophet thrown into the oh. lion's den? <laughs> Tell me, are you among the lion's den? Yes, I think I am. You want to stop Alexander? You're only playing parts of the conversation. Oh my, so Babylon shall fall, you say. Yeah, you're not including me talking right now. Because I'm the villain. Alexander is toothless without the ball. He's toothless without an orb. Ah, shit, wait. What a creepy dude. Huh. Tell the truth by all means. Seek out the pieces of the broken hole and mend the way. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leak magic, which is quite useful. No, I have to, I have to stay in here. Okay. But if you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? 
I know it's uh, I mean, look at it. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johann Heim, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help them. A recipe for some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this husk of mine. Uh, lies scattered in the torture rooms. So a heavy doors block. That two levers on the top floor not working. It's probably some problem with the machinery. Yeah, sure, man. Great. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, cellar probably. Uh, no, no, no laboratory. Torture room. Yeah, fuck. Sure. Like, let me let me just fight. Let me just fight your bitch ass guy. We're all done with this party. Let's just be honest with ourselves. We're done here. Might be a good spot to hide from... From Mr. Instant Kill. Wait, hang on! So the mascot of this game got killed by Mr. Instant Kill? And that's how they're like, oh yeah, now there's like no forgiveness if he finds your ass? Did they just do that? Oh, no, I don't want to go to the chancel. I, I don't want to go to the chancel. We gotta... Unless the chancel's gonna give me shit. Like, we gotta go help that dude. Alright, fine. I guess we're in the chancel because this game doesn't have a map! I guesstimated by, um... By, uh, remaining diaries. Ooh. Oh, there he is. Whatever. Oh. Just a little further. It's like Orpheus descending into the underworld. Are you hiding something? What do you mean? Never mind. Your intuition is remarkable. I'm not sure I'm following. It is the underworld. It's just a myth, after all. Okay, let's address this area later. Wait, what? That's awful. I'm in the nave, if that helps. But they just said that it's, um... They just said the whole shindig about, uh... Basically impenetrable. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. No, oh, so I started enjoying it. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well. And let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. God, I hope someday to play a farming simulator where you have to torture people for vite, whatever it's called. Like, make sure. Oh, God, that'd be awful, but that'd be funny at the same time. I know this. I've been here already. Torture simulator? A taste of the mask is. Uh, found. So and as we're going through this in the sequel and doing page edits, he must hate this game worse than you. I'm not that malicious, jeez. Like, I can recognize people like might love this game, but I'd say this game. If if you're like Max, like you have to give a review for it right now. If you had to give a review for it right now, what are your emotions on this game? I'd say, yeah, kind of like you said, play it, like, set a timer, play it for, like, two or three hours, and then call it a day. And if you're still... And if you're still enjoying it... I love the sound design though. Have I said that? Sound design is superb. Let's see, uh... 
<sighs> yeah, exactly. Like, okay, you hate the game. Well, fine, but other people don't hate it, so let them enjoy it. To just go around delete a wiki? Like, jeez. I don't like that just to light it. Alright. So they're not. None of the. None of the whatevers are in these little cells. Damn it. That's what they would be. Would have made my job simpler. Alright, so. How are things coming? Not very well. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, Mr. Agrippa. You're a really nice person, and I really appreciate talking to you, okay? Like, like things have just been rough. I really like you. Like, You're in such good spirits. Uh, I like you a lot. Okay, like you're you're a good guy. We're gonna figure this out together, man. All right, me and you, we're gonna do great. I can't get through this door. There we go. Is that a hammer. Beat the shit out. There you go. Uh, jeez. Honestly, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, tell me. That is how little respect I have for this game. We're looking to be done now. Just to be completely honest, we're looking to be done. You notice how other games I'm like real big on like spoilers. I'm like, hey, you know, do everything in your power not to spoil uh, spoil things for me because I want to like genuinely enjoy it with you guys and like sharing that experience or just have to play this game. Nah, fuck that. We're beyond that point now. You have to put his head in a portal or something right near the end where you're talking to Alexander or something. Alright, okay, great. Alright, <laughs> fuck it. Nope. Give give him. Uh. Well, he said like to take him with you. Yeah, yeah. So that that checks out. Shimmering. Right, they said check the machinery rooms. Yeah, like wouldn't crank. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, hey. Really wondering if these shits are respawning or not. I'm really wondering if these shits are respawning or not. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um, let's double check this one. Is it a look around in the other rooms? Less than half a... Okay, I'll hold on to it. Uh, what, something must be wrong with the machinery. Well, where's the machinery? Where's the machinery? No, we were just here. Uh, while well, being in the orb chamber. God, we're so close to the orb chamber. No, I guess this is it. Well, I got a metal crank. I got a wooden crank. I don't really see anything I can use it on. Let's see, Alexander's Daniel. Let's do the good ending. Just because. Fuck it. I don't know. Agrippa just seems like such a nice guy. Dude's been chained up for how many bagillions of years, and he's like, being that nice. Let's do a bro fit. I just walked through the same room. I could feel myself getting a headache.
Dan almost put a grip aside in the portal. Oh, well, you don't have to spoil it that much, man. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> I appreciate what you're doing, though. Yeah, just, 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 just tell me what I need to do, and we'll be good. <laughs> oh, that's all. That's it. <laughs> and credits roll. What, you want an actual real explanation? Pfft, no. Okay, I got, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm gonna start throwing shit because maybe there's like a. Fucking nope. Golf. Golf throwing shit is satisfying in this game. Woo. Just feels good, you know? But there's not much more. Than <laughs> Literally, they're just like, oh, you ruined us. Why? Uh. End game. Okay, what can I do to. Yep, that's the point I'm at. Okay. Wait, hold on. That green jar, wasn't that acid? <sighs> oh, great. Now the door has a knife. The door has a knife. And I'm going insane. Cleanse me from this sin. Alright. Uh, each edit is super short. Me! I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. But there's something else. Yes, I need help. Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. Man. What happens if I turn this again? You've been so nice. Like I don't want to. I don't want to fiddle with it. By me, I'm the next best thing. Alexander really might have not answered with Johann Heyer. Nope. You never heard of Johann Heyer? Ah, uh, like. But. <laughs> yeah. It's the world, man. Okay, so, yeah, clearly there's nothing I can do there. There's nothing I can do upstairs. Okay, they said check the torture chambers for pieces of the orb. But I don't think these are torture chambers. I think these are just holding cells. And I really don't think I'm supposed to go... Fuck it, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go towards that big spooky green thing. Well, no, that's oh, okay. Oh, okay, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. That is the torture chamber. Probably. Right? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I guess I'm supposed to go to the chancel. Uh. Gross. Gross. There's only five seconds left, so you are close to finishing. Ugh. She deserved it, that little bitch. <gasps> they said a swear. What the fuck? All right, where's bad scary man? Oh, more blood, so or water drop or petals or. Alright, we, we normally gotta follow whatever the scary thing is, so. How could you have known that this is a portal to hell? Well, I don't know, maybe on account that it's like fucking blue and green like Hades. Alright, dear diary. Uh, uh. Uh. I've yet to mend the thing, I'll have to find there's still life. <laughs> oh, you tried to bring your love back by torturing people. Oh, boohoo. Dude, give me the armor. Give me the fucking armor. Give me a weapon. Let's fucking go. Uh. Uh. Whoa. Uh.
There we go. We'll just we'll just put this in. This isn't what I need. The fuck is this? Alright. Well, while wow, this is cool, it doesn't really help our situation, so. Looks like there's six pieces total. Go to the torture room. So we just went to the torture room. So wait, let's go to this. Okay, let's go to this one then. Okay, this is looking more torturific. Stop of August. Okay. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected. And we have to do what is needed. We have to murder so many people! Helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. Ugh. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Sometimes you want me to like help set that up. I can definitely do that. From my inexperience. Or like when the next tell you what I did. To be performed, Old games like that ready. might be a bit tough though. Just fair warning. Okay, cool. I'm Sorry, now I feel like I should have helped. <laughs> or done something. Also, I didn't read what that last note was. There, that last part was. Okay, whatever. All right. I got a bucket of tar. Thought I could use a hammer. Boop. 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 Eh, eh. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Yeah, the way he was talking, not gonna lie, a little unnerving. Ah, come on, why won't it budge? Alright, hold on. Uh, sure. Two levers of. Oh! Snooky, hello, it's so good to see you. Uh, let's see, I got to run where the FMVs will still play, but they are tiny since 98k. Wait, I read that as descent. Not gonna lie, but heard it's descent and not decent. I was like, first off, nice pun. Secondly, Ugh. so, 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 Snooky, let's let, let me give some detail while I like fumble around and like try to remember what the heck I'm even supposed to be doing. Oh god, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I have tar. Okay, I guess we're going to the other door. But, okay, so this game is special because it's basically, like, this game's special because, you know how, like, Silent Hill and Resident Evil and even Five Nights at Freddy's to a certain extent has, like, greatly impacted the world of horror games and, like, in, like, so I just put my dick in it right now. Um, this game did similarly. Oh, I bet I'm supposed to get the orb and go bloop, bloop, and then it, you know. That looks sick. I just wanted to look at it! Shit! Ah, uh, Damn it. Alright, I'm cheating. Um... No, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on a second. Alright, uh, XXI, I'm totally cheating. I hope no one cares, because that's where I'm at emotionally. Alright, um, okay, so, so basically Snooky, basically Snooky, um, this game 
when it came out in 2010, it greatly impacted the world of horror games. It spawned all sorts of indie. It impacted the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pro the problem, and they're like it introduced so many great and cool concepts, like the idea of like you know the sanity meter. The if you stare at it, you go crazy. But it's not very well. It doesn't mesh well. Cause okay, here's a problem. Let, let me just give a situation. Okay, so there's a monster. If, if it sees you, it hurts you, right? Hide in the shadows. Hide in the corner. You'll be fine. You can throw things. Like you can throw things to, like, distract it, right? Good shit, right? First off, it only comes up contextually, and it'll chase you for maybe five feet, and that's assuming it sees you. If you hide in the shadows, you go insane, and eventually you start screaming, and that monster summoned to you, so you start dying. So what you have to do? You have to light things up. But you only have a limited supply of those, and if you do it, the monster can see you. You can't look at the monster to truly know its position, or else you go insane. You, because you can't look at it, all you hear is the constant ambience and the screams and shit, so you have no real indicator if it's there or not. You never really know if it's there or not, because it doesn't matter. Just fucking... Ah. This is one of those games that, like, it came up with something new. It came up with something brilliant. Like, it came up with something brilliant, but it didn't really... I could just feel it. It didn't, like, at the time, everyone probably thought it was the best thing ever because they had nothing else to compare it to. But once people took the ideas from this game and moved on with it and improved on it, that's when it flourished. That's when it did it. It's like someone inventing, I'm just going to make up something. It's like someone inventing a car and insisting it needs eight wheels and people are like, no, hang on, four wheels. And then they made it, it's a bad analogy, but you know what I mean. Like, once it was improved on, it's good, but at, in, this, it sucks. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What? Like, ah, oh, God. I've, I've been ranting, and Redra says I have Redra says I have resting bitch face, and I don't like having rest, like resting bitch face, and assembling the orb, and the fuck is making a grip is... I, it's, what the fuck? <sighs> I'll be fine. Ah... Uh... Let's see, sounds good on paper, keeping you pooping yourself, but it keeps up being more of an annoyance than a spoof, like the puzzles in Resident Evil 1 and 2. Have you played Them and Us? Them and Us. Them and Us. Them and Us. I, I feel like I've heard of Them and Us. No. Them and Us. Them, them and Us. I've heard about this. Yeah, yeah, a few guys have told me about this game before. As you can see, it's on my wish list. Yeah. yeah. Very much a where do I go kind of a game. I'd be down. I'd be down. It's not, yeah, I have it, Um, I have a bookmark now, so, you know, when it's cheap, I'll get it. I don't know if I'll stream it, but maybe. Yes. Yes, it was, and we're not going to acknowledge it, because we're adults. Anyways. Alright, so... Alright, sorry, going back to the guide. Okay, so... Okay. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Do the research for me, so I don't have to think about this. <laughs> Just added your stream? What does that mean? I legit don't know what that... Like, what What do you mean? Just... Oh! <laughs> I was gonna say, like, what the fuck? Yeah, sure. I try to play games with people on Discord, but I haven't done it once because I hold an awful schedule and I'm a terrible person. And I hate you. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm just, I'm just antisocial and horrible. I'm sorry. Alright, um... Okay. Let, let's try to... Let's try to... Let's actually try to get this shit done. Uh, turn left, you'll find tables. Bob, I'll make a sh sh jump. Okay. Take a jump on the table with a bottle of oil. Let's look up. There's a trap on the ceiling. Open it. Jump up and you'll notice that only one gear is working. When you make the... Okay. Where is that? Uh... Okay. So let's head back to that room and see if we can figure it out. Uh is this no time for missing Daniel? If so, blame yourself. You started this. 
Look, Satan. You sent me that letter uh -huh. asking for help, and this is how you repay me. How dare you? Look, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know where I am, and I can't see shit. Find her. Look, I know you're telling Hades or whatever to like find your wife or whatever, but mm -hmm. all right, all right. Um, okay, this is where we came from. Got it. He's like psychically talking shit to me, and I'm just more annoyed than anything else. He's like, get your demons and shit out of here. Fuck it. Whatever. You guys said like the worst villain ever after me. That's not true. He's not the worst. I'm just bitter. And I rest in bitch face. Let's smash against the bedpost. That's an awful idea. All right, hey, where's my main man? My main man! My pupil. My pupil. Yes, I do take pride in that. Is it so wrong? I did that on accident. Doing good, man. Love ya. All right, let's go. <laughs> I found the meat by him. Why the chat not been plundered? Do you know meat by it? I don't know. Tell me more. It is an old faith, building temples out of caverns. The Dark Wars being the universe. <coughs> I'm fine. Human, watching the sky slowly tire. But the followers do have one thing to allow them a real sense of I feel like he's dropping the real lore. The orbs. That's great, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, God. I'm fine. All right. Incoming spook because we actually did something somewhat productive. I'm so bitter. I'm so unbelievably bitter. I just want a gun. I just want a gun. I want to shoot things. I want to feel control in my life. As opposed to just confusion without purpose. Is this one? No. Damn it. Well, Max, it's always the last one you look. All right, now go shkaboo. Shkaboo. God, I hope I'm supposed to turn. Shkaboo. Congratulations, you've grown sand. Now, children, we ask ourselves the important question. All right. The fuck did that actually do? What did this do? How has this helped us? Fuck you. I'm sorry, my friend. You're not sorry. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about this. Let's just let's just talk. Okay, let's just talk things out. I like talking things out. I like talking to people. Talking to people's good, you know? Why can't I use this fucking sock? Hey man, so like Satan is talking to my head. Should I be worried? I don't know what door I got open. So. Oh, shit. Alright. Flip. Let's not go down that. Wait. I have a piece of meat. Should I put it in there? That's a thought. Let's see. Uh. They watch the taste out of your mouth once you finish this. <laughs> Thank goodness this is a one-off. Yeah, we're not gonna do we're not gonna do machine for pigs. Oh, chance it? Oh shit. shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this now. We're not gonna do we're not gonna do machine for pigs. We're not gonna do Well Soma, maybe. Nah, I watched Soma and play Soma forever ago. Woo! Ooh. 
Step in the circles. I feel like something bad's gonna happen if I do. Uh. Cannibal? What is this thing right here? I really like how it transitions though when you're like too long in the dark. It looks really good. Not gonna lie. Uh, the map that was not carried out as often as people may have thought, if I remember correctly. Makes a lot of work. It's a big mess. Nope. Yeah, this is literally the game of now we're gonna torture people. The cradle is ready. Good. Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. Mm. I'm not the bad man. Oh. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Oh. I anyone listen. That's horrible. Of course. Oh, God. We are dealing with monsters here. Hmm. There it is. We're good. Uh, uh, everyone who doesn't know what that is, use your imagination. Uh, don't believe the lie. Oh, that wasn't there earlier to go up there too but for now let's just keep things simple and straightforward that oh, was this one downright tame in comparison we're gonna need to hide in that I got what I wanted. Uh, me knowing this game. Oh, it's a wait. Uh, yeah. And he was justifying it because the crazy shadow monster was after him. Poopy poopy poo and whatnot. And then the Well no, this guy this game pretty much started the trope, didn't it? Of like the reason you forgot is because you're the villain. Oh, okay, I can't guarantee. I can't guarantee that this game started that trope, but I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, but you didn't forget. The game just didn't tell you. I feel like there's a difference in that. You know what I mean? I got some swing. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Uh, to be said, I had figured out the reaction I would give for the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, that's not the case. The humans are all of similar to do with physical pain, the terror, and anticipation. I guess, uh, uh, 
Because we put the tree that should have here, probably will be also the right step to take there. For two straight, all the victims still days proceed by presenting the form of torture you're about to apply and then to continue with the actual act. That way they freak out. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient as it will trigger itself into great, greater fear simply by imagining it. Yep. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient in the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses. It's possible if it breaks to let the body sell. If you're whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the load of its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield max effect that the victim doesn't behave as effectively as the victim will be never fine. If you need to drink it. No, did you tell me not to look at that letter? Or is that the knife I remember? That's right, okay. First down the... Yeah. Right, right, because you keep thinking about killing yourself. Also, this game just spoiled what happened. Literally, they tortured people... And then he like gave them the amnesia drink so that they could freshly torture them again. Rinse, repeat. Eventually, we took the amnesia drink because we couldn't handle whatever bullshit. Okay, so this is the this is the voice of Alexander. Oops. Mental defense. Yeah, the best mental defense is just to fucking forget about it all, am I right? That thing should have morphed. Max, only morphs when your sanity's messed up. Yeah, I know, but like, it would have been cool. I also like how you can't really see the symbols until you get close to them. I think that's a nice detail. I can say nice things about this game. Thank you. Uh, that's a bad sound. Oh no, that's that sound. Yeah, whatever. How are things coming? Come, it's going good. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Man, he is such a spirit of positivity. Max, that's weird. You shouldn't be happy about him. But I am. He seems so nice. Ooh, health potion. All right. Uh. Uh. Uh, uh, Mutan made from, to release grip without killing him, Wire told me to release Mutan made from Paralyzer, Vitae, and Tamter. Uh, the prize seems to be a fertile grounds for so I should then be able to extract, uh, it could be extracted as usual from an alien, I just need large amounts to still properly, we're going to collect this during the next torture session. Oh good, I have to torture someone. Uh, I don't think it exists, simply rind the word with these letters, that's why I believe it's a property of the secretion, the water dwelling can't. All right, so that explains that. Stretch your back. I can, okay, fine, I stretch my back. I stretch my back. There, just for you. Uh, up it yeah, up it yeah, oop, doop. Up it yeah. I drank, I just drank water. I drank it. Let's run out of water. Were you gyrate? <laughs> uh, okay, great. So he is some cosmic entity beyond. Yep, all right, cool. All right, okay, so they said we need the one creature. 
We, he ha we got the one creature, we got a piece of meat, I'll probably like make him happy, then we got like inject with the needles, I don't know, I'm making shit up. Um, cause I didn't really read it. Oh good. You fucked up, you stepped in the circle. Good. August 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my. So you have to keep bringing in new people and killing them. Yeah, I've got it. Hurry. Oh, good. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces oh. a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Somebody's on this ribs. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. Ooh. He is evil. A cold blooded killer. That's Hurry. <laughs> Damn. Next. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Oh. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. Paint the lines, cut the whatever. Please, I didn't do anything. Upset at mocking me. <laughs> Man, I'm fucked you up. Hear me, guardian of the orb. I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. He's like, shit, man. You'd have to murder someone for me. Like, fuck. I can't. Prepare for spoop. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. It wouldn't have been that bad. You must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Having an eh of a time with it. What the fuck? Hey, yeah, whatever. Hey, handsome. Oh, look at this. Nah, okay. I can't. Let's see, let's see here. And honestly, context is... Okay, Joe, what? Here's context. We're a horrible person that gains magic demon powers by torturing people. And we made ourselves drink forget-me juice. And we're doing it all again. And right, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Why isn't the crystal in... I thought the crystals were supposed to be in here. Hmm. Maybe these aren't the actual torture chambers. Wait, am I going the wrong way? I don't know where. No, no, it's fine. Uh, beer, beer, it's all good. Yeah, so like, we basically like found a note from ourselves that's like, hey, go kill the shit out of Alexander, and now we're like remembering everything that happened. What are my intentions, Daniel? Ooh. Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. Uh, yeah, this ain't a memory. Justify your violence. It is for the greater good. Not doing violence. But doing the world a service. Uh, fuck you up. How about that? It is you who caused all this pain and death. Yeah, you're you uh, you're dirt. Your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it. None of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Is. And I can't see shit, so I don't know where he is. And I don't want to turn on my light, or else you will see where I am and come and kill me. So we're just gonna carefully sneak around him. Did he just respawn? No, it's just this. I can't see where I am or what I'm doing. I have no idea where I am or what I'm doing. Uh. Ah, shit, I'm sorry. 
Do you want me to explain it again? Oh, it should be possible to break open. Perfect. I don't have anything to break it open with. Oh, yeah, rock. Bitch. All right, dope. So I need... Uh, the chat pieces I scattered around the torture rooms. Oh, no. Oh, no. Really, the gem's not in there? I'm surprised. I thought that's where it, I thought I thought for sure that's where it would be. Oh god. Alright, um It's supposed to be in here. Oh, wait, wait. It's supposed to be in here. There it is, there it is. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, look at that. It's a watch day together. Alright. Oh, God, all those things. But, uh, yeah, do you, do you want me to just explain it again, or? I can, it's just a question of if you give a shit. Max, what do you mean by that? I'm losing the ability to give a shit. Oh, come on, come on. This ain't treacherous. Your mother is treacherous. All right, there you go. Uh, okay, so right now, right now we're doing two things. The first thing we're trying to do is we're trying to find six pieces of an orb that is basically Cthulhu in a box while avoiding that thing. Wait, she certainly is. You have no idea. What? <laughs> Wait, what? The wheel is good for keeping your oh. victim still. But okay, so that's the first thing we have to find. We have to find. Pen we have to find like the orb that like constantly shifts or whatever. And then the second thing we have to do is we have to get, um, we have to get ingredients together to make a thing. Amnesia potion. I forgot. During the. <laughs> They can be bound. Oh, your mother! Bound around the circumference, or simply stretch that threw me off. Tying limbs to the spokes and rim. And then, when it becomes a skeleton, it'll be one of the surprisingly hardest creatures to kill in Dark Souls. You administer the torture in any way you like, but the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided yeah. that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer. This is what good people say. In between the frame. But they'll die. Oh my goodness. It's almost like my actions are wrong. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. Uh. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Hmm. I like a hammer. I would like to use this as a weapon. Yeah! Oh, wait, can I spin this? Ah. Uh, but with the intent of the rope secure and stretch and crack that you don't like have the strength to scream the two men looked at each other and only took a hair and struck the victim to find lack of mercy. Ah, really mercy. Wee! I'm bored now. Uh. Alright, so we gotta find, we gotta find one more orb piece and then one note speaks of a, okay, hold on. Um, shit. Oh, it's a note. It's a note. It's a note. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, shit, 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 shit. 
Maybe somebody you feed him in time made from a paralyzer, Vitae, and Tamper. Okay, the boys are sure work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland for a large specimen. Done. The Vitae can be extracted as usual from any agonized human's victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. We gotta find a torture boy! Tamper on the net of the table. I don't think it exists. And simply ride the board with these letters. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling in Karanek. We'll have to address air with this and see we'll have to swipe with a host. Well, we got one in a well. Uh. Yeah, we got we got one in a well, so we gotta find and torture a person. We're the good guys. Just keep telling us. Just keep telling yourself that. Yes. Yeah, fucking serious. That thing's gonna outrun me, and then I'm gonna die. I have no idea where I'm going right now. It's dark as shit. I can't see. I have to find... Why is this place called the choir? Door. I'll just do it to reset it. Uh... Wait, is that two separate... Is that two separate games? Phantasmagoria? That's a real game? I thought you meant Phasmophobia. All right, count me intrigued. T tell me, oh God, it's 11.30. God, I just want to be done. All right, um. Where is Pipe? Pipes might be able to help me find it. Shit, that's where I just came from. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Count me intrigued. I'm okay. Did we already go in this one? Oh God! Just, just that. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever. Oh, come on. Good scare. Uh, sure. Uh, oh, so there's just enough room for you to stand. I forgot about that detail. Oh, there it is. Alright, orb. Shkaboo, shkaboo. Shkaboo. Oh. Like that one spot with the semicircle. Alright. Alright, now that we can just leave, honestly, we can leave this area. But the problem is, we're gonna need to go talk to who's his face. The problem is, we're gonna have to. My eyeballs just went all wiggy. We're gonna have to try to find a way back. Now I'm pretty sure I ran in a mostly straight line. So hopefully, I might have to go on a break real quick to get more water. Yeah, this place is just dark and confusing. Whatever. Fuck it. And fuck out of here. I just. Uh, I really wanted to enjoy this game. I really did. My eyeballs hurt. This game sucks. Sorry. I'm sorry. Like. <sighs> Am I unappreciative? Am I an asshole? Am I. Uh, Oh, I'm in trouble. Is there something else? Incredible. You found Maya's recipe. 
Uh, you're spoiled by the good games. Okay. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the dead yet. Daniel. Please find the ingredients and prepare oh. the tonic via the sky. Alright, great. Do so before you assemble the all. The barrier Wait. keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the all, you won't be able to save it. I see that all the all pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for Vias Tonic before attempting to mend the all, there might still be a chance for you to save him. Please, my fate is in your hands. Tell me about the feckin' thing. Okay, hold on. No, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, so I got a glass jar. Um. Okay. I see that all the all pieces you need. Okay, no, 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 I missed it. He has to tell me, right? He has to tell me. Uh, Mr. DC, one no species of mystery, grip of the diamond, wants a specific talk made to save him, right? But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for bias talk, okay, wait, no, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, okay, so. Where would I get an agonized human? Like, straight up, where do I get that? Okay, hold, hold on, hold on. We're gonna cheat a little bit more. Um, tamp. Her? What do you mean tempter isn't found? Nope. Vite? Vite? Why isn't Vite found either? What the fuck? Okay, okay, so... Okay, uh... Uh... Okay, let's try this again. Meat. Uh. Choose to use the meat in the world to just dangle above and then would like to eat this. Like the wood behind us with the crank can turn all the way into the water. Monsters able to eat the meat. After using the meat, would be there. Yeah. Okay, great. That means we, we missed the vite. We missed the Vite. That's a problem. Okay, um, there's a giant wheel inside. Um, okay, hold on. Ingrid, let's, let's, let's try that. Okay, um, This guide is not helpful. That's not true, it probably is. Wait, wait, wait. Go to the transect. Okay, I can do that, I can do that. Um uh, uh yeah, okay, so we gotta go back to the transept. Got it. I got you, bro! I got you, bro! So I feel like an asshole when I have to like sit there and like read a guide. This ain't it. Nope. Damn it. I hope this is entertaining, watching me just like get mad and bum rushing this game. I really hope it is. If it isn't, I'm gonna feel awful. Okay, there's the thing. Here's the thing. I go, huh. And then I go, who hoo do. And huh. 
to do? I almost just fell in. Okay. Okay, so now we just got to go in the transept. We got to find one of the rooms has dripping blood. We got a jar of it. All right, the question is which one? Because I already forgot which ones they were. I guess I'm gonna have to open them all and look again. At least now we know there's basically nothing, so. Uh. I don't think this one's gonna play ball. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this one's gonna be able to play ball. Alright, so let's leave. Let's go. Alright, let's try this one. We get that. We throw them all together. We use on him. His head plops off. It comes with us. We assemble the orb. We wait for the portal to open, and then we throw his head in. Right? Easy peasy. Right? Let me squeezy. Okay, I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep touching this shit. Uh, they can make him forget again. Yep. Okay, so not that one either. Because there's no drippy. We need the drippy. Uh, the exact moment where Max realized now that this experience is shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you had a good nap. Hope you feel well rested. Is this it? Will this do? Tell me this won't do. Uh. Oh. Oh. There you go. It was after the taxidermy part. Yeah, jail would have suffered with me. Uh. Oh, substance needs to be purified first. Shit, where do I. This is how little. This is how little I care. Uh, 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 okay, but, 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 uh, Uh, there's another door of this thing. Yeah, flashback is something does like a situation of prisoner. Uh, uh, okay, so where would I go to, where do I go to distill this shit? Because I didn't read it. Dist, nope. Amnesia, distill the jar of blood. Okay. On the way into the air with us. Uh. Uh. Wait, you can't access the lab prior to going to assemble the orb. Okay. Gotcha. I feel bad. <laughs> Look, Max, you have to keep reading a guide. Yeah, because I hate this. All right, so since we can't do it yet, we have to start assembling the orb, and then we're going to get our asses handed to Nope. Then we're going to get our asses handed to us. That's some Illuminati bullshit right there. You can see that triangle all the way over there. Uh, okay. So, we have to go... We have to go get captured, go back to the laboratory, throw it together. Uh. 
Let me keep eating jelly beans. Oh, the jelly beans sustain me. I see that all the all pieces you need. I Sorry, man. I'm gonna come back to you. Don't worry, this game is linear as fuck. Is this not the right way? No, this is the right way. Well, shit. Yeah, I saw the part where it said, don't worry, this is okay. Now we know there's multiple other- <laughs> Bye, Felicia! <laughs> ah, this is fine. All right, let's figure this shit out. Once again, the sound design of this game. Excellent trip. I'm sorry, can I see your butt? I can. All right, here we go. Here we go, figure out the puzzle. You have me worried. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to do with you. I hold no grudge against you, Daniel. We are so very much the same. I solve all my shit. You and I. Yeah, the soundtrack is It does explain so much of your behavior. You never did finish what you set out to do. You talked about redemption, how you would face the orb's shadow and save our work, and me. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you, friend. What are my options? What are my options? Uh, check the hinges directly. I feel like I have the right idea. Uh, both the shackles and the door. Solid metal and in good shape. Eh? All right. Oh. <laughs> Not loose enough. How about now? How about now? I'd say there is enough time to waste on this. Okay, there isn't. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna glitch out of reality a little bit. All right. See, these things don't have the best grip on reality. All right, um. Okay, the door is just kind of. Pull up. Uh, okay. Uh. Break the shackle off using the bar. Gotta be something. What am I missing? What am I missing? Slide that around. Table. Uh. That's okay. If we die, we die. I think it's the game's way of saying I'm taking too long. Kind of hoping to 
uh, Half-Life jump through it, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, shit. That's the darkness. Um... This is the game's way of... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I feel like that's the answer. I feel like that's the answer. Uh, no. In the past, when I got near or touched this shit, it just kept hurting me. Come on. Come on. Come on. I feel like this is the answer. Wait. Oh, shit. That is not how that works. Alright. Woohoo! Yep. Silent Hill 2 well door all over again. Yeah, Come on, fucking go. What? Alright. Yeah. Been a, that's a details escape me more. Alright, uh 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 Yeah, okay. Did I ever get to do that a few times throughout Silent Hill? Or is this like randomly like beat the shit out of this door? It's like all right. The fuck? The fuck just happened? I don't want to look at Penis Man, alright? I don't. What do you want? Just whatever. What just happened? Uh. I mean, I did also play all of them one right after the other, so they do kind of mesh in that regards. I promise it's nothing personal, it's just me like, uh, crap, which one is that again? You know, upside and downside of franchise series. Oh, come on. No, wait, no. Uh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I have no idea what this is meant to do. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. Well, I have no idea what this will get me. I have no idea what purpose this serves. But boy, howdy day am I doing it. Got a bucket of water now. Um. Got a bucket of water. Sweet, now you can hydrate. Like, fuck yeah, just drink it, you immediately die. There's a key in this pipe, but it can't be reached, bitch. I learned that from Silent Hill with the ball. That was awesome. Bitch. I don't even know what's going on. I'm just going. You gotta be kidding me. Bitch. <laughs> well, I mean. Okay, once again, I'm making the bet that I'm not even in danger. I'm just running to run. In all fairness, though, eventually puzzles will repeat. You know what I mean? It is kind of inevitable, so, like, I'm not going to shit on it too much for that reason. It's more just like, oh, it's similar logic, you know? I have no idea what's going on behind me, but they're making a real big point that something's chasing me. Even though it's nothing, so I'm just gonna believe him. Yeah, exactly. And you know, sometimes we need moon logic puzzles. Moon logic puzzles can be fun. I just like the ones that are like clever riddles within themselves. Yeah. Sure, though, when we finish this game, I'm just gonna be like, we're fucking done. <laughs> just end the stream. Oh, God. Oh 
Yep. Oh. Hey, it's look, it's what I do at work. Sometimes you just gotta lay on the floor and take a little nap nap. Uh, okay. Uh eighteenth of August, eighteen thirty nine. I probably should have kept track of the dates to see when his descent into madness began, but ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. Just outside hmm. Enstadt lies a small settlement where Zimmerman, a dairy farmer, lives with his wife and three children. Go on. The coach went there. Our visit was unexpected, and Alexander was able to strike Zimmerman down without alerting the other. All that screaming was because he didn't alert anyone. As he went to take care of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. Yeah, all that screaming, that's how you know that it was completely unforeseen. We should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now. And we have cows! Even better! We got cows! Who's talking to who in that statement? Well, that goes for these red flower petals telling me what to do. No, oh, yeah, I pulled this shit up. Why? I have no idea. No idea in the world. Look, I'm like moving around in like a drug state, and I feel like I'm in a drug state. I'm gonna take it for granted I'm in a drug state. Whatever. Did I go the wrong way? No, this is the right way. It's just covered in goo. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. I'm trying to get there and you're hurting me. There you go. Thank you. There you go. Uh Let's see. Uh <laughs> Just hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Sick of this bullshit. Uh the bots see could be for the tutorial cuz they stopped working the Jennings when they had three when they had three left. Well, I mean, they're trying to teach you how to play, you know? They're not gonna, like, they're not gonna be, like, super hardcore gen rushing you, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing when you play Survivor, like, the the killer's not very smart once they get to you, you know? That's a tutorial. You'll do just fine when the game starts, I guarantee it. Oh, yeah, this is lap. Perfect. 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 All right, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Uh, before putting anything else into it. Great. Uh, fucking, fucking. First step to be in dot. Oh wait, there's no door anymore. I was about to make a joke of like, I need my privacy. I right, hold on, hold on. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Yep, th this is how science works, everyone. Just. Alright, perfect. Alright, and shkadunk, and shkadunk. Just light that bitch on fire. This is how science works. Um. How? Oh, oh, I gotta crush it. Alright, oh. Yeah. This is, this is exactly how science works. This, you just be. Heh, 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 Oh, a Griza or a Grippa, whatever the fuck your name is. 
Oh. The castle trembled, and I could feel the chancel collapse. Can see the spikes. Just drink the shit. Drink it. Just, just bleh. <laughs> What? Uh. Oh. How do I cough his head? I will answer your question in a moment. First, how do I cough his head? Um. Um, oh, perfect. So, okay, so they are billions. I originally went to, I originally saw they are billions, and I was like, oh, this is actually a really cool concept, and it's it's basically like a real-time strategy game where you can pause at any time to build things, and it's all about, like, hoarding off zombies. I'm actually really enjoying it. That being said, the game's hard as shit, but, um, yeah, I've, I've been really enjoying it so far. I've been doing the campaign, and I haven't gotten very far, but, uh... Yeah, so far. The main problem I feel like with that game is that it's very snowball reliant. Like, they give you a few units at the beginning, but you feel like you can't really do much. So you have to, like, hide and, like, sequester yourself until, like, you get a little ways into life. And then you can kind of pop out and be like, all right, let's go. But, um, it, it's good. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I, I, would, I would recommend it. I would definitely really recommend it. Left. They sometimes consume themselves. Oh. Great. Alright. It feels a lot more defensive. Yeah. And it's a different style than Age of Empires. It's not like, um... It's not like Peasants. You don't have, like... Or, or Starcraft. Um, I haven't played Rise of Nations or Rise of Legends, I can't say. It's more like you don't have any units on the field except for your fighting units. Otherwise, they'll just buildings. Like, they'll have little, like, villager NPCs, but, like, they don't really do it. They, they're just there for flavor purposes kind of a deal. And, um, yeah, so it's like, oh, you need workers, okay. Yeah, no, no, peon no peons, it's just, like, your only units are your soldiers, which, I mean, hey, it keeps it cleaned up, right, so you don't, like, accidentally select peasants. But it's all like, oh, you need food, well, build a hunter's lodge, okay, so you build a hunter's lodge, and it's like, okay, so this hunter lodge needs this money and this many workers, oh, you need more workers, make more tents, and then, like, this train comes by and drops off people to work at your place, it's like, oh, okay, now you need electricity for the houses or whatever, so you make, like, a little power plant, oh, you need wood, and then, like, it's like little segments of time, you get more resources, I've, I've been really enjoying it, I've, I've been, I've been enjoying it, I haven't played for very long, though. Sorry, I know I'm so close, and so now I'm just like... Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Come on, let's go. Uh... No, they can get killed. They can get hurt and killed. But, um... Yeah, like, if a zombie, like, tags one, it will... They will turn into a zombie. But you don't really have to, like direct them around you don't have to be like four on wood and four on this it's more just like build you have workers for it build a sawmill all right sawmill's done move on all right we need food build the fish the fisherman's cottage all right is it done who gives a shit like that kind of a logic if it was for alexander you would still be innocent to be able to die so what oh you're talking about me the fuck is this darkness? This weird gloppy bullshit. Makes no sense. Jump over this, cause fuck you. Vi- Ah! Fuck off. Visually... Visually, I will say, the blood, like, the bloody, creepy Zerg shit is very cool. But that's cause it's Zerg. Nah, that's not true. I, I think it does, I think it does look very cool visually. Alright. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. She's a big ass orb. Alright. Uh. Related to this. Nice. 
Well, the killer part was much smarter. Do I not need to take the orb with me, or? Oh. Uh. What'd you just say? Apply the wooden crank. Wait, hold on, do I walk? Is that what he said? Blood for the ritual? Like got iron plank. Or iron. Do I touch it? There, blood. I was really hoping that would work. Um doesn't help that I talk. Uh we don't have a knife, we don't have a, a tool. Okay, I should heal up. Uh doesn't need blood for the ritual. Yeah, sorry, I'm tired, so I'm just I'm just cheating. Oh my goodness. Oh no 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 this is this is this is somewhere. Okay, hold on. Okay. Um Uh Uh Okay. Uh there are three. Uh, I got to do some shooting the gears. Uh. uh If you try to touch the other so look to the left side, there's an orb. Now put all sixes. Okay, so we have to stop the machinery. <laughs> Nearly seven hours in and not having fun. Okay, so... Let's see. Okay, so we have to go to the left and stop the machinery. But just to the right. Because we're backwards. <sighs> so Max, do you still want the shadow in this game or whatever the fuck the gatherer? Yeah, the it's called like the gatherer. You want that in Dead by Daylight? Maybe for what it represents, but ultimately no. Just out of spite. Okay, rocks. Gears. Alright, grab the rock. Yeah, fuck are you! It didn't work. Excuse me. Well, that worked surprisingly well. That's right, creepy music. We have done a good deed, have we? Uh, hopefully. Maybe. Uh. Oh, come on! That plan was brilliant! <laughs> Secret part. <sighs> I really wish that worked. That would have felt badass if that worked. So they switched out the Metal Man with the Gatherer. Fuck you. Every time I, every time I die, they make it a little easier. Now they're just like, eh, your sanity is what I, who, who gives a shit. 
Remember, kids, brute force. That's literally what it is. That's literally what it was. Yeah, you know, they, they gave me the invincible man. I died. They gave me the normal man. I died. And then they're just like, Fuck, just whatever. You clearly don't want to play. Just just go through. And I'm like, you get it. And he's like, I get it. I think this is the right way to go. Oh shit, this is the right way to go. Oh shit, he took the orb. He's like, hab! No, hab! Bitch, you gave me the orb! What a fucking orb! This uh, I'm trying to remove some stuff as we kind of say, follow the scenes and beg her for forgiveness. Oh, are you supposed to feel bad for the crazy man who tortures people? Oh, feel bad. Do you feel bad for the man? I don't. I'm gonna be chased by something and murdered. Great. Oh, hi. I'm just gonna whisper into the mic now. This is an ASMR. Look, we're in fucking Egypt. Does this actually work when I try to ASMR this shit? 1839. When I try to just like get real close on the microphone and. Not I've been manipulated by that. ASMR BD when I'll get one of those ear microphones to start licking it. Uh vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. Alexander, no. I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster! Why do we have to erase now, our memories? I merely await my death. Why do we have and to so erase our memories again? To press on. But does it actually work for ASMR? Does my need fail me? I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I am as broken as the men I tortured. Was that him crying? If only I could wipe my fear away, as we did with them. Oh. Who has an ASMR read redeem and everyone always redeems it at the worst times just to make her have to read horrible things. Yeah, you could totally do it if you whispered at that range. I wish we were at that range. That's all I'd ever do. Like, if anyone told me to ASMR, A, filter whatever the ASMR so they don't make me read horrible shit. But the other thing I'd do is I'd just start eating the microphone. That nah, won't do it. <laughs> just go, hi! <laughs> Hi, Sakiyawa. I can't do a toad voice. It'd be funny though. Why not? I am bleeding quite badly, and I'm thick. Did I do it? I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm here. All I know is this room was going fucking berserk, so I tried to. F oh, hey. So I tried to fix it. And I'm thinking this might be the only way to fix it. So whatever, bagee bagoo, that blood's for you. I heard a door open. It's creepy as shit. What do you mean the door will not open? I did what you want me to. Fuck you. Uh, draw the circle. Wait, was that the sound of it opening? Damn it, what am I supposed to do? Okay, first off, Toad is a hard voice to do. Secondly, you want me to whisper that shit? I got the madness to take. Yeah, what am I even doing here? Let's close this. Yeah, I'll close this for a second. What am I even doing here? Okay, so I already did it. You know what? I'm practicing my toe. <laughs> Fuck you, Max. You're horrible at this. I'm sorry, Princess. Be the prisoner. Sorry, Mario. And Princess to another castle. It's awful. Did that accident? Whatever. 
there's no point in what I'm doing right now. Look, it's lit. Love me. Um. There we go. I had the right idea. Thanks, game. Thanks. I was only trying to do the goal that you were trying to get me to do, and then you hurt and punish me for it. Why does this game do that? I'm trying to do the thing you're trying to get me to do, and you punish me for it. So now I'm going to sit here and take a shit ton of damage for no other reason than the game's like, fuck you. The game's going to slap me on my ass and be like, get going faster, scrub while we kill you. Okay. Wait for the portal to open. But literally, it's like, alright, there's the goal. Trip on my face in the blood, whatever. The game's just like, blah, 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 fuck you. Alright, so. Wait for the portal to open. Once the portal opens, throw his head in. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see is he naked? Convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is everything nice and Why is he naked? Now? Am I the villain? Yes. Good and evil. Such comforting. Why do we have to I have to stare at his peen? Why do I have to stare at his peen? I don't want to stare at his Are peen. So I don't I don't that you see no good in me or evil no. in a crippa. Just no, just no. Fuck you, how about that? There's the portal. Dell's ten inch is in your face. Yeah, I've wanted to play Dante's Inferno. I've heard only good things about it. What am I supposed to do? Is this the portal? Am I supposed to kill him? I don't get it. Floating rocks and shit. Ew. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna. The portal's not open yet. I'll stare at you! How that? Do they want me to like throw a rock at him? Like, how are you supposed to, how are you supposed to take your revenge? Is that rocks to throw? What are you supposed to do? No, like, real talk, like, what do you... I wasn't paying attention. I was not paying attention. He made fun of me, and I was just like, eh, hey, whatever. Alright, uh... Uh, um, so in getting the normal endings, you just push over the pylons. Uh, uh, you have just finished one of the most horrifying games in gaming history. Go to the middle of the room where the pylons are channeling their match to the center. This is probably the portal is going to open. You need to wait for the portal to be fully open. You'll know that it is fully open when it becomes big and blue. At this point, open your inventory and use Scrooge's head on it. Okay. <laughs> so they just wait a, wait a minute. Eh. Yeah, literally, it's just stared at his, at, stared at his peen. That's it, just stared at his peen. Good show. Good show. Uh, watch live stream at the same time. No problem. Got a lot of buffering. Nah, I'm sorry to yell at Joe. I'm sorry to yell, but thanks so much for hanging out with me and watching me suffer and get angry over the time over the past six hours. Really appreciate you being here, man. I want you to know that. Put the head to port. Do you see? It? Oh shit! Isn't it beautiful? The game's like, you have the right idea, but just slow the fuck down. But, no, yep, there you go. You have ruined us. I don't know how or why, though. Yeah, why is... why? Ow. 
Ow. I died. Good. <laughs> so, if I understand it correctly, he's some Eldritch Bean trying to go home, and he channeled another Eldritch Bean, there's a third Eldritch Bean. And because I sent this Eldritch Bean home, he found his Ethernet cord in the spirit realm and went snoop, snoop, snoop. And that's the end of it. <sighs> that's the sad thing about being an adult. Like, I love Halloween, but as an adult, you can't really do much. You know what I mean? Except, like, go to bars. Oh, hey, I can actually control myself. Except, you know, go to bars and get drunk and stuff. It's like, I don't want to do that. Oh. There he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. <sighs> Help him. Yes, thank you, Vaya. <laughs> and I'll just insert horrible, unearthly sounds. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. God, I can hold W. I'm so good at holding W. Hey, That. I was being over dramatic as a bit. Oh god! <laughs> uh, I just wanted to do that for sake of bit. Oh my goodness! Molly just started clawing at the door. Oh hi, Molly. Molly, just, thank you, Molly, for bursting into my room. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Molly. It's fine. Don't worry. I did that as a joke. She like came. She busted down my door, and she's like all worried now. It's okay, Molly. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, Molly. Oh. Okay, so. I get it. During its time. Richard Toppings was a fantastic voice actor. I want to put that out there. There's a few moments where it's like, okay, I think he's supposed to be crying there. I'm not entirely sure. But otherwise, otherwise, Richard Topping, phenomenal job, okay? The sound design of this game, phenomenal. The idea, okay, I want to, I want to emphasize something. The idea of this game, on paper, brilliant. There's a lot of fun ideas. There's a lot of cool, you know, there's a lot of cool concepts. You know, this game was one of the first ones that, like, I think it's safe to say, if, if this didn't originate the, you don't, like, you forget, and you, like, learn your own memories and kind of a deal. If this game didn't originate it, made it popular helped it out the idea of like um uh, god I'm sorry hit continue if it stops you like right before it that'd be really cool oh it does perfect I was wondering if you were going to show up I see a grip of convinced you to run Fuck you. Is everything nice and Fuck clear you. now? Fuck Am I Fuck the villain? Fuck good Fuck. and evil. Fuck. Such comforting concepts, Fuck. but hardly applicable. Fuck you. Ugh. So right, they said push over. Fuck. That you see no good in me or evil in a grip up. Oh, do I gotta do that one first? Hold on. Fuck you. How do you push over? Uh, oh. Don't do that. No, don't. Don't. I realize you doubt my intentions. Why would I take no. such extreme measures to save your skin? 
No. You are ruining it. No. You are so close. I beg you. No, I can't. I'm sorry, but I'm floating too hard with my peen. I'm saving mine too. Oh. I'm just like you, Daniel. A prisoner of circumstance. Oh, come on. Trapped in a world I know not. Oh. You killed us. You killed us both. Oh. Oh. I appreciate that I can do this, though. I'm like. No, no, I just accomplished. To be honest. It was my greatest triumph. I killed a man. And I never looked back. Have you heard of Lisa? Wait, what? Mary? <laughs> what? <laughs> but like... You think I was afraid fleeing Brennenberg? Huh. Quite the contrary. I don't know where they want me to go. Oh. I feel like I've heard of it. I knew it was my purgatory. Hellfire made to wash away my sins. No. Is that the cat lady game? Oh, okay. There's, There's no denying the things I've done. But I have paid my tribute. I gave them that awful man. I did the right thing. Did I do the right thing in the, in the good ending? What the fuck? Alright, whatever. Skip, 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 skip. The end. Ike 271. I don't know what that means. I, the other one said something. To, I don't know what that meant either. At right, this time, we just have to watch him. It's weird. At right, this time, we just have to watch this. Oh, he's I jiggling. Alright, I'm just gonna stand I here. Just got some cool visual. Alright. Is everything nice and clear it's now? It's really weird. Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such this guy's so full of shit. He's like acting so morally high. That you see no good in me or evil in Agrippa. Okay, so. Redress, I think the way you said it earlier really sums it up well. This game has a lot of brilliant ideas on paper. The idea of how the shadow works and I have to balance that with the creatures, okay? It's a good idea. The design for how the castle works and how like the blood clots like block shit off. I get it. The sound design, superb. The, the bugs going across the screen, superb. But in practice, this is just infuriating. This game is infuriating. The enemies, are designed to be inconsistent so that way you feel like you're always afraid but it turns the other way instead because they're not consistent and there's no real mechanics and no real way for you to impact anything other than to hide at a wall and hope they're just annoying and it's just like eventually you stop caring you're just like oh whatever just go oh i see him whatever you just go it's not scary anymore a lot of the puzzles like the physics puzzles and that aspects of it were fun they were nice but to call this one of the most horrifying games ever? Yeah, I get it. Like, you know, back in the day, people didn't have that. But yeah, I've been spoiled by new games that have improved on this concept. Or improved on these concepts. And I just... Ugh. Do you see it? Uh, a whole other world. No, I don't see it. I see a blue whatever. I can finally return home. Yeah, and then the and the blood claw will eat you because they don't explain. The, okay, so did he make the gatherers? You are still tainted, branded by the shadow. Why? Like, Max, it's it's Lovecraftian. They don't have to explain it. 
I got the achievement sacrifice. So did he make the gatherers? Is that what they're called? Is that Cthulhu? Who's the voice? Oh, hey, how's it going? Okay, I'm hearing the voices of those I tortured. That's fine. The blood clots is a cool visual, but like... Like, what is the shadow? What is the... what? Just whatever. I just don't care. This game is frustrating. Some of the puzzles were fun. But other ones I brute Your force. sacrifice won't be forgotten. You will be celebrated forever. What was the point of you making yourself forget everything if you already had intentions on killing his ass? I like how the game was willing to like not hold your hand, but many times it just got confusing because you couldn't see very far. I don't like that you can't look at whatever's trying to scare you. It's a fun concept and like on paper, but then actually doing it, it's just annoying. This is not a... Ugh, no, I can't say that. I think this game is brilliant in a lot of ways. But the moment it came to execution, it failed. Or it just did awful. Like, maybe not fail, like C. Like a C. Out of, you know, A, B, C, F. Or A, B, C, D, F. Just like a C. And then other people saw these ideas and was like, that's a brilliant idea. But let's... Let's take it and let's come up with something better. And then they did. And if you're telling me... So I need to get... Developers usually have a great game, but it takes forever. Eh. If you're telling me machine for uh, machine for pigs is more the same, or if um, or if soma is the same, I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm good. I don't want to play them. <sighs> if it's more of that, oh, uh, what about amnesia? What about amnesia rebirth? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'll go watch Scary Game Squad play it. I just... It's depressing. It's just absolute... TYR299, don't know what that means. So much of it wasn't explained, and I get it, it's Lovecraftian horror, but like... I just want to Google Amnesia Monster. Yeah, the gatherers. I just want to get a good look at them. Uh, I just... Why the peen? Where did these things come from? I'm guessing if they're gatherers, I'm guessing Hoos's shit made them. The dark descent is still terrifying. Am I an asshole? I think I'm an asshole. I'm wondering if I'm an asshole. What the fuck are these things? What the fuck are these things? Okay, hold on. I'm amnesia, a machine for pigs. I just want, I just want to look at them. It's a, uh, it's a bunch of pigs. It's a uh, bunch of pigs. Probably to say that capitalism is evil, because socialism and communism work out so well. But no one wants to talk about that. Okay. How about this? Rebirth. Uh, I think... You see, you say that, right? You're like, you know, Max, you don't... You just aren't easily scared or given to spoops like me. You say that, but there are some things. And, of course, I'm going to have a hard time, like, pointing them out and remembering them now. There are some things that simply scare the shit out of me. I mean, of course, the moment a spider comes up, I'm scared, but, like, you know, some things will scare the shit out of me, and other things, I'm just like, I don't care. No, I've just, I've stopped caring, and I'm sorry, 
And if anyone hates me for it, I'm sorry. Like, just... At a certain point, it's just kind of like, whatever. It's got predictable. Same two monsters. You realize they're bullshit. You realize they're contextual. They're only with cutscenes. They only show up whenever you're making progress. Okay, quick question. All the times that we saw those monsters, how many times did they show up organically? That's what I asked that question. How many times did they show up organically? Like, not because we were making progress, not because we were doing a cutscene, not because they wanted to do a jump scare. They were there. They were genuinely sitting there. How many times? If I had to guess, two or three. Two or three times, not even. The one that was in the room, Joe would witness it. Basically, I was just like, fuck this door. I just opened up and one was there and I slammed the door and ran and hid. That's the main time that's coming to mind. Maybe there's a few times where I felt like a cutscene, but they're there legitimately. But no. How many, they didn't show up unless it was cutscenes. Like, all right, remind me, when I come to power and I make a horror game, I want to do everything in my power to make it so that whenever there's, like, a big scary monster or whatever, it's never, like, it's randomized where it is in the room. And it's just off doing its own shit. And maybe you, like, do something to alert it, but it's, like, doing its own shit. Because otherwise, it's not organic. You know, in a super early bed of Silent Hill 2, Pyramid Head was supposed to be wandering around randomly in the fog on chance. If he touched you, it would be a one-shot, but he was too slow to really catch up to you, so they scrapped it. But in concept, that's great! I wish they did that somewhat. Like, even, okay, even if he was easy to avoid, right? Like, super easy to avoid. Have the world go insane around him and, like, have him target the other monsters, right? So you just, like, he just run up to a monster and just rip it apart. And then he'd, like, go back on, like, he'd, like, look around for a bit. And then, like, have him... See, I, I'd be cool with them doing both. Have him show up contextually. Because when he did show up, it felt organic. It felt real. But, um... And then on... If they ever do a Silent Hill 2 remake, I want them to do that. Where, like, whenever you're on the segments where you're, like, you know, transitioning... That's what I want it to be. That is exactly what I want it to be, actually. So, like, he doesn't show up unless he needs to, which is fine. I know it's like, Max, that's hypocritical. And it felt better. Um, but when you're like, okay, I'm at the hospital. I need to get to the school or whatever the order is, right? Insert whatever. At that moment, be like, you know, he's out there somewhere. And maybe you could, like, compensate by doubling the monsters or whatever but then make it so he's running around and killing them. Right, like... Okay, that, that's what I'm saying. Take the concept of him, like, moving slowly around, but then add he kills the other monsters, and he's fucking fast. But maybe he's distracted by monsters, so maybe it's, like, a thing of, like, um... Okay, let's just make something up. Um, four points, right? Pyramid Head, he's coming at you. What do you do? You run towards an enemy monster, and he kills it. Now, yes, I get it that that would, that, that would like, that would make it so it's like, oh, you'll just lure him to every monster, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but make it so that, like, maybe every time he does it, he thinks a little bit harder about killing you instead. Something like that. Right, and I understand limitations of its time. If they ever make a Silent Hill... If they ever made a Silent Hill 2... If they ever make a Silent Hill 2 remake, do that shit. Like, seriously, do that shit. The idea of something organically looking for you is great. <laughs> nope, not if you. Yep. If I came to power and they told me to, like... All right, we want you to remake Silent Hill 2, but how to make it better? Burr, burr, burr. And I'll be like, okay, we're doing first person, we're doing third person. And it's like, oh, we're doing first person because we want to copy Resident Evil 7. And I'll be like, all right, here's what we're doing, bitches. <laughs> and that would be one of the things. A hundred percent. I want Pyramid Head to hound you down like hell is after him. Or like, what, what's the phrase? Like the whips of hell are drawing him to, you know, whatever, right? I would do that shit. But anyways. Anyways. Um. God, I would totally do that. But yeah. How many times did they organically show up 
very, very few. Sorry. There's very few times they organically showed up. And I wish they showed up more often. I wish they were more consistent so I knew it was, like, knew what was going on. Because half, like, 90% of that game is just me going, like, fuck, I guess this way. Fuck, I guess this way. Uh, what's this puzzle? Fuck, I guess that. No. <sighs> he leaves a trail of decay. That sounds great, too. Like, ma yeah, maybe have it like a slight aura, but it like super affects wherever he's been. So that if you have to go through there, it's like extra fucky somehow. That'd be great. I'd be down. I mean, Trail of Torment, that's a Dead by Daylight thing. You already like stabs the ground and drags it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, it may be like, maybe like if you go through the area he's been in, he has like a better idea of where you are and you're slowed down. So he like comes and hunts you down kind of a thing. And you can shoot him, but it'll only just slow him down. He'll still just like constantly go for you. But um, that'd be really fun too. Granted, we're making him like the main threat, but he's supposed to be the main threat. He's supposed to be the representation. So it makes sense. Parallel World Concept was a big thing in Silent Hills. The Parallel World Concept was a fun idea. It's just sometimes it felt a bit like... Even in one, sometimes it just kind of felt like, okay, I guess we're here. What difference does it make? Fuck it out. I only wanted to reuse the same map. You're going to go through and solve problems. <laughs> However, solve works. I should... I should honestly rewatch someone say like play PT because I can't play it, but um, I just remember the I should watch the trailer for Silent Hills again. I know it's canceled, but like I just remember the um, like a door opening and like a giant arm like reaching through and shit. And... Great, but anyways, um, yeah. Overall. Go through similar situations. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, right? Or when you say point of view, you mean the... See, already you saying that, it's like, I can imagine that being really creepy. And, like, definitely, like, the subtle... I want the subtle horrors. You know, just the small... You know what, this game, this game had no subtlety. That was another thing. This game had no subtlety. Like, whenever there was the big aura things and the bugs and whatever, like, it was creepy, but it was always like, burp, 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 burp. you know what I mean? It, it wasn't like, and now we're just going to creep you out a little bit. Just a little. I love subtlety. I love that. Like, I still want to quote it. Resident Evil 1, that one zombie that just clawed on the window... And was and then eventually he broke through, which I, I got mad at him for that because I was like, no, you were better when you were clawing on the window, but um, just clawing on the window, just over time or just faintly in the distance, hearing Pyramid Head walk around, that shit is horrifying. But no, this game didn't have that. No, it's just like ah, brr, brr, get ready for the brr, 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 brr. Uh, similar to the Robbie the Rabbit mascot, but actual clowns and one of the parallel. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, but, like, everyone's afraid of clowns. I like Robbie. I wish Robbie was a thing. Robbie never became a thing. Uh. Oh, so you're saying, like, um... <laughs> fuck that. Fuck blind fight. But, um... So you're saying, like, have each zone be based on, like, a traditional fear? But you know one would just be straight up hell. It would just be fire. Ugh. But, um... Anyways... Overall, final thoughts. This game paved the way to a lot of better things. And sometimes you have to have that first stumbling steps. During its time, I bet this was incredible because nothing else was like it. But in the modern day, this game I don't think is that good compared to other games. I haven't watched someone play PT in forever because I can't play it anymore. So, But, um... What am I saying? This game is brilliant in a lot of ways, but only on paper. In practice, it becomes repetitive and annoying and 
things don't make sense and you're just kind of running around and doing shit. It was just running around and doing shit, and it was just awful, and I didn't like it. But I can't say it's a bad game, because during its time, I bet this was phenomenal. Yep, 3.9, 5.2, 4.9. And I don't blame them. That's the thing, I don't blame them. Read all notes in the game, pick up every Tinder box. I don't want to. I don't want to. Like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I did it. Just no. <sighs> I think it's a lot of nostalgia vision. And I think it's a lot of people acknowledging this game for its time. But in the modern day, sorry now. And I, I want everyone to know, I am I am a big big uh, what's the word what's the word I'm looking for? Uh not candidate, not conduit. Tall rat, it's so good to see you. We all we're almost done. <laughs> I want you to know I appreciate you still showing up, though, man. But, um... Advocate! Advocate! I'm a big advocate that old games can be great. Old games are so good. There's so much... There's so much we can learn from old... There's so much we can learn from old video games. And they're worth going back and playing. It's the reason I do the franchise series. <laughs> oh, Aww. That's very kind of you. Thank you for that. But, um... It's why I do the franchise series. And, like, I remember when I first did it, and I was telling... It was while I was in the Navy. And I was telling people in the, um... I like Taco Bell. But, um... I remember when I was telling people about it in the military. This is because it was while I was still in the military, and, like, most of Mogar saw was on is on YouTube. Um... They were like, oh, so you're going to play Metal Gear Solid 1, so you're going to get Twin Snakes, the GameCube version, right? And I was like, why would I do that? And they're like, oh, because it's an updated remake, so it's better. And I'm like, no, why would I do that? I'm going to play the original. And then he made fun of me. His name is Ron. I hope he's doing well. But, um, we used to joke that he was the Haunch Crow, but that's a, he was a Haunch Crow, but that's a, another subject. But, um, he made fun of me because I didn't want to play the remake. I was like, no, that's not the point. The point of the franchise series. Like the point of the franchise series is to see the original and to try to put yourself back in the shoes of people that this is all they had and to see how it grows over time and just and compare and to look at like the ups and the downs. That's why like hey, Homecoming like Silent Hill Homecoming sucked and 4 wasn't that great, but 2 and 3 were good and we can see where it tried to go. Uh, like and, okay, let's take Resident Evil. I loved Resident Evil 1 through 3, but you best believe I'm probably going to play the remake more because of modern things. But I can look back and appreciate what the originals did. Allie, or I kick cat underscore, if you see this, I'm sorry. But I'm probably going to stick with the remakes because they're better. <laughs> but maybe they aren't. And maybe I want to compare. Like, <sighs> because of that, I am so thankful I did not decide to do a franchise series. And nothing's wrong with that. I'm glad you love them. They're not my thing. Yeah, that's what I heard too. I mean, I don't remember if the Res. I, I want to say the Resident Evil One remake is like pretty, pretty damn faithful. It's like mostly one to one, but I could be totally wrong about that. I'll fully acknowledge that. But um, yeah, I don't really like tank controls that much. But you know what? A lot of people do, and that's okay. That's fine. If you love this game, fine. But this game pissed me off so much. Uh, and Molly's Molly's here saying rub my belly rub my belly Max but uh, yeah the stream lasted for 7 hours happy Hall happy Halloween everyone if you're going to having parties or trick or treating or doing things with chillins be safe have fun be responsible all that good stuff spend time with your family but um yeah, happy Halloween. We got to play a game that was a hallmark of horror that introduced things, but I'm so glad we didn't make a franchise series of it because fuck this game and fuck everything else to do with it. There was some other game I played that I on this Twitch that is that I felt the same way about that. It's like, I'm glad I played it. I don't regret that I played it, but fuck this game. <laughs> 
that at least I could take a step back and when people say, oh, you know the Gatherer from Amnesia? You should put them in Dead by Daylight. I'm like, ha, no! <laughs> okay, maybe just for sake of historical value or whatever, but ultimately, no! Now I know what they're talking about. Now I've experienced it and I hate it. I feel like an asshole and I'm sorry and I feel and I know I apologize a lot and I need to fix that and I apologize whenever I end up just hating a game but I just hate it and I'm a jerk so anyways I'm tired and I would like to eat food I'm gonna go find a can of beans and just consume it oh hey Molly I know I'm yelling I'm sorry Fuck it, we're gonna do that now. We're gonna do that right. We're gonna do that right now. We're gonna do that right now. Fuck you, ads. I have an ad blocker on. Why isn't it working? Fix yourself. Okay. Oh, it's, it's two minutes. But, yeah, the rest of my weekend, uh, I think I'm going to be hanging out with my girlfriend tomorrow and Sunday and then playing D&D &D on Saturday night, so. So they took, like, mostly the same graphics, it looks like. Look how, like, high his legs are. Okay, so this is a... No, the shield! Fire risk? You know, I never actually sat down and... I never actually sat down and played uh, Stardew Valley, like by myself, just doing it. You know what I mean? But frankly, that's because like I I saw I kind of like got enough osmosis out of it, if you will, from um, my sister, my girlfriend, and then unfortunately from marriage. Which hey, what a convenience that I use this with my ex-wife. But um, that was even that, that wasn't scripted. <laughs> it just kind of worked out that way. That like I counted like I'm German. It's like. <laughs> but um so I haven't played maybe I should do that on my own to kind of like rewrite those memories but um what are they gonna beat the shit out of you for being a chocolatier but um this looks delightful I bet I would have a great time with this from the creator of Stardew Valley, he's just like, uh, by the way, you know, whatever. Yeah, this looks absolutely delightful. Kind of weird that they just have blackness here, but... 300 plus hours of my life. Yeah. It looks really nice, like... Yo, know, I might sit here and go, it's mostly the same as it, it, it's mostly the same as it was on the, you know, uh, insert whatever, uh, it's mostly the same as it was on, uh, uh, Stardew Valley, but you know what, Stardew Valley looks good, so this can look the same, it's fine. Uh? You missed a workshop next to the corpse shoot? Oh, you know, you just missed it. Just... I don't know if I'll go back to Graveyard Keeper, but I'm glad that they're still updating stuff and people are loving it. Good yourself, but but no, I did not. So now I'm gonna have to now nah, do that later. <sighs> that was very cute. Anyways, let's end the episode off here. Seven hour, seven and a half hour stream. Basically, it, well, I didn't work today, so this is my job for the day. But um, yeah. I'm sorry if I shit on Amnesia too hard. I'm sorry if this is one of your favorite. If I'm, I I might not be apologizing to people here right now, but I'm gonna apologize to people in the future. I'm sorry if this is one of your favorite games. 
but I think the rose tinted glasses are digging into your nose a little bit. I, I think you're starting to get like a some brain hemorrhaging from how tight those rose tinted glasses are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like an asshole whenever I say I hate a game. Or, like, I really don't like... Like, Horizon... Not Horizon Zero. Yeah, actually, no. Horizon Zero Dawn. That, too. And, uh... Hyperlight Drifter. I really didn't like those games. <laughs> There's a bunch of things I liked about them. But for the most part, like, at the end of Horizon Zero Dawn, I was just kind of like... Whatever. I'm done. Fuck it. I don't want to do the DLC. Like, don't you want to do the DLC now? No. No, I don't. Like, Hyperlight Drifter. Oh, don't you love the intense and incredibly intricate stories? Like, there isn't a fucking story. No, I'm done. I always feel like an asshole, but... You know what? I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I played it. Seven hours of my life, though. Mm. I know it says 9.9, .9, but apparently I did play this before and I just don't remember it. I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. Let's end the episode off here. Uh, next time we stream will be on Monday. Um, we might have to skip next Wednesday, unfortunately, because of a thing I have to do for work. Uh, hopefully not. But uh, next Monday will be Pokemon. I grinded, I grinded the Pokemon all up to level 55. Uh, oh, no! Yeah. Curse of being an IT guy. Um, so that'll be, oh uh, yeah, so Pokemon will be on Monday. We'll, we'll finish the game and then we'll see how we feel about doing the DLCs. Uh, on Wednesday, and if not Wednesday, Friday, we're going to try to finish Resident Evil 5. It's going to suck because of the saving issue, but we're going to do our best to genuinely finish that shit. And then, yeah. Oh, Vada will be on YouTube relatively quickly. Uh, yeah, and I really appreciate it, man. But, um... Follow this will be put on YouTube relatively quickly. Announce it's for our Facebook, Twitter, Parlor, Discord because I don't know how to run social media. Um, I disabled the bits, the custom bits thing. I'm going to reinstall them because um, I actually talked to Allie from iKitKat and she taught me how to do it. So um, I'm going to try to get that updated. And honestly, something I kind of realized um, we don't really have many emotes on this channel. I could put them in the Discord. So I'm going to start trying to add them to the Discord. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'd say we're all done and good. Let's end the episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry if I seem real hateful or tired or I have resting bitch face when a game annoys me. I tried. It might be a bit for those modes, but projects, right? Another project. But, um, yeah. Let's end the episode off here. Um... Here. Yeah. Thank God everything. Thank you all so much for watching. Sorry if I shit on your favorite game. And, uh, yeah. I will see you guys then. There you go. Thank you for coming. Bye.